other people. So this guy posts this on here and he goes, I'm new to DMing, but I can't wait to run a one shot level 20 5e game. And and okay. my immediate response is, do you have 18 hours? No, you can't find four people who know how to play a level 20 character that they just built. You just cannot do it. This isn't 4e, uh, Adam. This is 5e, so maybe it does go faster. Uh, that's right. It's probably only about 12 hours. You're right. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's just like you can't, t you can't just give somebody a level 20 character. I agree. They can't play that. You know, it was it was just like you just don't understand, do you, buddy? Yeah, we got quite good at our characters because we played them through all those levels. And exactly. some of us play the same characters in different campaigns as well. Ekara, I mean, uh, I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, my, it was an my accident, by the way. Just saying, it was not on purpose. <laughs> my know, campaign, my campaign with Tyler is going great. He uh, he was upset. We ran through one that was a little more like intrigue and backstabbing and stuff. He's like, I could really go for a dungeon crawl. <laughs> uh, I gave him one. three and a half dungeon crawls in a row, and he's uh, <laughs> he's had about enough of it. They <laughs> dungeon crawled into the uh, upside down pyramid of the desert Ooh. and made it through the first couple levels. There was one level of all undead. One level was like a spider. One level was uh, all um, puzzles. Another level was fire. He 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 killed his first fire giant, Ooh. and uh, now he's getting on to the last uh, last level to get the the second MacGuffin of the four that he needs. Second MacGuffin is the most uh, imp important, I think, by far. I think everybody would agree. So uh, by itself, it is impotent. <laughs> Jeff, did, get you halfway there. Now uh, he's saying he does. He didn't want a dungeon crawl. Oh, uh, Jeff. Uh, question then: uh, If you could do a good, bad, and ugly for your campaign with Tyler, what would they be? The good Ty. They said, "What would be the good, bad, and ugly for our uh, dungeon crawl?" Um, he's fifth level, so um, he, he has his his Ekarath and his Rudy. Um, when they do crits, uh, Ekarath does three d12s because he's a half orc, so he gets Holy an extra die. He d and Rudy, at level five, I gave him, yeah, wow. I gave him a uh, a sword, a magic sword that gives him plus two flame damage. So he's rolling six d6. That's a level five on uh, sneak attack damage. Wow. Isn't that like a level twelve fireball in the old days? <laughs> So uh, he's at he's at I, I threw a couple things out on the head like 120 hit points and he killed him in two rounds. <laughs> this is just like <laughs> at fifth level. And so it's like wait, so do I go up to like nine ch challenge nine monsters or uh, like? I think you're gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's crazy, fun, fun. That's really cool, man. Right. Jules, how is school going? Are they uh, giving you enough work? Do you find yourself done by like ten fifteen in the morning? No. Uh, well, I get so there are half my classes give me work. They say this is all due by Friday, and then the other half go day by day. Mm. So I'm usually done with the day by day stuff by around between ten and eleven. Um, and then I go to work on the other stuff. Um, other stuff is my third, all done on Thursday. Hour, eight hours. You're talking about Jules, not you. <laughs> not, not talking about Austin, Jeff. <laughs> um, and like I usually start around eight, eight thirty. So that's a good system. Sounds like it's it's uh, keeping you from staying up until four in the morning and then getting up at two in the afternoon. Yeah, we. Well, that's what I get. I have a group chat with everybody that's in my stats class, and it's always going off at like 8.30, 9 o'clock, where everybody's like, oh, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? And I'm like, maybe if you did the work during the day where she was available and you could have like emailed the teacher instead of texting a bunch of other people that don't know how to do it. Interesting point. Because I'm like, I'm not giving you the answers anymore. Like, that's... <laughs> 
Yeah, we, we, have, we have friends who let their kids sleep as late as they want and do the homework out there. Where we are a little more structured, we're up by 8.30 and you're online by 9. And most of the time they're done by 12 or 1. Versus, you know, so we try to keep it structured. But we are not here to talk about school. We are here to talk about uh, Starfire. No, no, one, one quick one is um, I got up early. I'm downstairs and uh, one of mine comes down at like 6 o'clock. I know where this pizza, is going. To eat pizza in the garage because she hasn't gone to bed yet. Whoa. <laughs> See? I know the last part. I didn't know about the eating pizza in the garage. Wow. Wait a bed yet. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> I assume shamefully eating pizza in the garage. <laughs> and going, going to bed because, yeah, Sunday. <laughs> God. So what meal would you qualify, quantify that as? Yes. <laughs> what meal is that? <laughs> oh man! Midnight snack, breakfast, lunch. Dinner? I would need I would need the list of uh, halfling meals. You know how there's first, uh, hob- Hobbit meals. There's first breakfast <laughs> second and second breakfast. breakfast. I think this would be second midnight snack. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> or was Early the pizza break? hot or cold? <laughs> she ate in the garage. It was cold. <laughs> okay, then it, then it's definitely a breakfast. Mm. <laughs> If it was lukewarm, it could be midnight snack. If it was hot, it'd be lunch or dinner. Breakfast appetizer. Yeah, so we we figured that out. Oh, uh, wait, one, that. Uh, one last final update too. Uh, this is for you, Jeff. Wizards of the Coast are offering free, uh, like, unlockable codes to educators if they want. I saw. I, I got to okay. look into that. I was thinking to uh, maybe tomorrow I might look into that. Something to think about. Yeah. All right. So. That's all I got. Sorry, Josh. That's all right. I keep looking at the bubblegum shoe, which is a a, a mystery Hi. for teenagers. And I'm like, ooh, can I do that for Liz and her friends or Liz and Ty and Jules? And I don't know. What's the bubblegum <laughs> shoe? I'm sorry? Bubblegum shoe. Gum shoe is actually a, a, a game, and bubblegum shoe is the teenage version of it. It's like a detective game, but you could take it in like a Stranger Things kind of direction. Oh, okay. If you wanted. The question is, could I really prep two sessions a week. I don't know how people do this. How people play three or four times a week. I can't prep this much. <laughs> I, uh, I that, that, that's what I'm running into, Joshy, is like trying to come up with like another level after level after level, and it's like, dude, I, I just came up with two really cool levels, and you gave me 45 seconds to come up with another. <laughs> what about uh, modules, Jeff? Like, if you go out to the Trove, there's like decades worth of modules that you could steal from. I'm reading uh, from Dwarven Forge Dungeon of uh, Doom, and it's supposed to be like a 1 through 10 level uh, campaign kind of thing. So I'm reading that right now and hoping to do that. Maybe even do it with some of my teacher buddies, like introduce them or oh, something. We'll that's see. A very cool idea. War of the Burning Sky, Jeff. Check that one out. Anyway, um, so last time on Starfinder, you guys had uh, completed your work on. Um, Castrobel, you made it back to. Yeah, we did. You made it back to Absalon Station. You got some upgrades. You got some equipment. You set off for the diaspora, where Chiskix had said the next piece, the next MacGuffin you needed was was found. Was uh, sending off sending off radiation that you could detect. You ran into a pair pair of sorry Amy stuck in the cat a pair of necro gliders attacking a free captain you aided the free captain um, she gave you information that was uh, for the record that was very helpful actually it was good that was uh, captain aquana and um, she had told you that the asteroid you were going to uh, which is asteroid k9204 um, was What's she doing? Not asteroid LV426. What's that? What was she doing? Eating out of the chicken and stuff. <laughs> uh, no, I just I, fed her! That, that's for um, another vibe. That's another night. I did, oh, okay. consider using that. I did consider using that. Oh, then let me turn my lights back on. <laughs> no, we'll get there later on. So. Uh oh. Who are you yelling at? Hi, guys! Hey, how's it going, Amy? Hi, how's everybody doing? Well, you know, just surviving a global pandemic, the usual. Really? Is that what's going on? Mm, that's what I hear. 
I, you know, I haven't left my house in like two months, but that's actually normal for me. So I don't know. <laughs> and then Mother Nature decides to make it miserable on top of it all. Yeah, we got some yeah. crazy weather. Did you guys get that hail? That hail that was like a half an inch. Maybe that was just no. in Milford. It was ugly. Yeah. Was that today or last uh, week? Four days ago ish. Yeah, my mom said uh, my sister got it in West Haven too. Yeah, we had some hail up here. Huh. All right, bye guys. Bye. See you. Good seeing you. You too. They know about her Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Um, Are you with Daddy? Just for the just for the notes, uh, Benny Benny count Jeff two, Jules one, Mikey three. I thought you gave me one. I did give you a second one. Um, Jeff, Mike, uh, it's a Bob has got two, Adam's got three, and I gave Chris. I owed Chris one <laughs> for his attempts at a peaceful solution. So what is to the ghost to the ghost? <laughs> What has Sivian got total? One. One. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Jules has two now. She's got another one. Oh. That was a mistake. So. Uh, yeah, because I was real dedicated to being a part of Ozzy's cult. So, so you made it to uh, Captain Aquana. Had told you that that asteroid uh, had a, a cavern complex underneath, and you'd asked why it hadn't, why they weren't using it, and she had said that. There were microscopic particles that filled the air to make it impossible to see past 10 feet. Mm. Uh, no types of vision, no radar, no nothing, because the particles just obstruct everything after 10 feet. Should we cut the lights off? Mini we'll get the we'll lights off. <laughs> what, Jeff? What's that, Jeff? Mini chlorons? Mini, mini chlorons? Shut your filthy <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Middle chlorians? I am worried we that we can, get, we can get cancer from this. We should not be breathing things like that. Then you can, you can keep your suit on and keep the face mask down. Mm. So. All right. All right. So you after um, helping the captain, she gave you directions. You set off and you arrived finding a single spot on the uh, mile long mile diameter asteroid. There's only one spot to really set down. Uh, your sensors indicate that it's a very low gravity with minimal atmosphere asteroid. That means you have a, uh, increased ability to leap and carry stuff, but you cannot move any quicker. And you will need to wear your um, armor with the, with the uh, atmospheric stuff engaged. A quick search of the infosphere. Uh, shows that this asteroid was aggressively mined decades ago and that there are copious amounts of space ash in the air and on the ground. That ash is a mixture of metal flakes, rocky grit, and space dust. Uh, the, the asteroid itself is just full of treacherous rock and ore-infused terrain. It sounds like my first apartment. <laughs> <laughs> first? You live in Waterbury. It's the same. <laughs> no, my wife cleans this one. This house. <laughs> Uh, you set down, like I said, there's one spot to set down. It's clear other ships have set down um, in the past. And um, there appear to be two paths that are kind of parallel. One kind of goes up and one kind of goes down, but it's just kind of one is a ridge overlooking the other. The one that goes on the higher side looks a little more treacherous than the lower one. Always go for the upper, upper right, Mike? I think you're on mute, Mike. Yep, always go for the upper. That's true. I mean, okay, speaking of midichlorians, you've got to take the high ground. Once you have the high ground, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You travel up the uh, that side. Um, everybody give me a perception check. Uh, 11 for ghost on a natural two. 16. 16. 30. Ooh. 14. Now I get some rolls. 14 for trigger. Wow. All right. So I'm going to move your map. So we know the stuff. You see stuff. So if you look in the bottom right of your map, and the map scale here is a little off. So I had to shrink you. 
Well, well at least we don't have to go single file. We can go two by right. two. Right. So you can see there's a high. You're on the higher, and then below you is, is a, uh, that ridge drops down to a lower area. Um, there's that silvery ash that I talked about when you landed, and um, Sivian notices that there appears to be some stuff in that ash. If you want to go take a closer look. Let's take a closer look at the ash then, Sivian. Let's just look at the ash for fun, because Sivian's the only one that notices it. <laughs> I assumed he told us. <laughs> of course he did. Dude, there's like stuff in the ash. All right, so you find several shards of cold iron. Ooh. Useful for fighting against fairies. Hmm. Uh, you know, you know that um, if you chose, you could use it as, as an improvised weapon that deals slashing damage. Slash, slash. So, uh, in I total, there's one. in total there's ten bulk worth of cold iron. Or wow. Bag it's of just holding. Bag of holding. Yeah. Oh yeah, it stores fifty bulk. It's perfect. And it rips your bag open. Damn it. <laughs> and a total worth of 1,125 credits. I have a feeling that I should. we should probably each hold on to one of those, <laughs> as well as put the remainder into the bag of holding. I agree. Conveniently, there are six shards. Oh! oh six wow. shards for 50 bulk? Those things are heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what kind of damage do these six shards do? Is it 1d4? It's an improvised weapon. So I believe it's a one d four. I would. Oh. It's a one d four slashing weapon. Does anybody have, have like duct tape or electrical tape just so I can make like a handle? Out of this, or... <laughs> Turn it into a spear. Make it a shiv. Yeah. So. Okay. So to be fair, this is the same damage as my tack lash. So I'm still going to be wrecking stuff. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. Your tack lash is one d four, and all your damage bonuses are static, huh? Wow. Yeah, I'm plus 11 on my 1d4. Oh my gosh. As you're digging through the, the ash, it's, you know, dust is flying up. Uh, give me one more quick perception check, please. Vision is even less obscured, you would say. 23. 10. 19. 29. 15. 14. Sivian has rolled so far. Chris, you have rolled a natural 19 and a natural 18. That means you're screwed. He's Sorry, done. Chris. No, yeah, he's done. Hey, it doesn't matter. Listen, in the first five minutes, I've done more than I have in the past six weeks, okay? So... <laughs> <laughs> Good night, guys. Uh, you see, you see a, um, uh, a, a silvery glint on the ground. You pull it up. It's a silver amulet. And um, <clears throat> anybody who has mysticism, give me a check. I, I might have it. You might. Oh, I rolled a natural 20. Oh. Ooh, that's very promising. 22. Uh, Mikey, you trained Mrs. I mean, uh, Bob is ghost trained too? Uh, he is. Uh, he got a... Oh, 27. <laughs> Only 27. Not natural 18. Oh. I rolled a natural 20, and I got 30, so... Ooh. so you see... Oh, nice. That's Damn. the... Uh, Adam, why do you have a, a d20 minus a d20? Because I don't have mysticism, I was just trying to be funny. Oh, okay. I was wondering if that is <laughs> do I have to do that if I try that. Like, I was wondering if that's like the actual. Can you guys, can you guys see that? Well, I should. I meant to have a picture of, but I I forgot to put it in. It kind of looks like an eye opening. Yeah, like, agree. I don't know if the orientation is correct. No, he spun it on its side, but it, it is the symbol of the devourer. Oh, the moist oh. drop was necessary. It's clear that it's been there a while. Like years, it's not. It's like Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire. Sorry. The Ring of Fire. <laughs> what does it do? Bubbles. Nothing. It oh. has a. It's just a. It's just a pretty necklace right now. It is. It has a worth of twenty five credits. Right now. But. Okay, I'm gonna wear it. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty. Disturbing, yeah. Where do does my mysticism check tell me otherwise? Nope. Tell me there's I shouldn't no, wear it. There's no, there's magic. No. There's no, exactly. nothing magical. I'm gonna wear it because it looks cool. Josh, and it could where do we see the picture? And it's of it? different, right, Alicey? What, Jeff? Yeah. Where do we see the picture of it? Look at my picture on the screen and roll twenty. At Josh's uh, Josh. avatar. <laughs> I just see a uh, Dresden-esque person. Oh. Oh, your video's not working. It's funny, because I don't get him either. I don't have him. Huh. 
I have me. I have both of you guys. Go I, figure. I do not. I have had Jeff. Jules earlier, and Jules was gone for me. I yeah, I had Jeff video earlier. Video Adam, but Adam doesn't have video, so that's why I don't have it. It's a yep. thing. If it's anybody has me on video, please let me know. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how that happens. I can. <laughs> I don't know apologize. what these everybody that you're sitting there in your underwear. Don't worry about it. Uh, I don't know what this means. Yes, I have underwear on, definitely. <laughs> exactly. This is not good. This is a asteroid that had those weird cult people in it. Uh, they were living here once upon a time. It is not good for us. Ghost, uh, ghost, ghost. I have an idea. Yes, Trigger. So, 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 since, since I, Elise, put on that necklace. Yes. And, and. And this is a bad kind of planet. You should be ready to kill her if she turns into something. Do you? Oh, do you think that the necklace will turn her into a member of the cult of the Devourer? Only if we're lucky. What? What should you guys do to be safe? I don't we think. kill everybody. <laughs> well, well, is it possible? Oh no! Can we just go back to the ship? I mean. We can go back to the ship right now. Who cares about finding the second piece of the crystal of power? A stellar devourer. We don't need if that. We, if we don't find it, somebody will, and they could blow up a star. A star. And that would be bad. We have we 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 have the. It would look pretty cool though. They can't do it without all three pieces, and we have one already. So we just do not give them our piece, and then we can just go home and eat good food and not have to eat the ship food, no? We can, we, we can go back to our bar and drink something. Yes. Or all of it. We own it. For the next six months, yes. Oh, no, two years. We own the bar for two years, yes. Yeah, and then after last station could disappear in, in a yes, month. Yes, I think it would be safer if we had all the pieces and could control them instead of just one. We, we can't risk letting anybody else get hold of all the pieces. Oh! Yeah, I don't want to be attacked for having a piece later. Oh, I see. No, 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 I got it, I got it. You, you, you want us to have Ekarath, you want us to have all the pieces so that, oh, sorry, not Ekarath. His name is Ozzy Trigger. It's Ozzy. Hard, hard to tell the difference, I know. <laughs> that was Jeff's fault. That was totally Jeff's fault. Ozzy, Ozzy, I know why you want us to do, to get all the pieces so then we can blow up planet. <gasps> Ozzy is a genius. Yes. That is such a good idea. This is why That's you have a call. That's what I was thinking. It is that exactly is what, what you meant. Do. Oh, of course. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then we will be the rulers of the universe. They will have to You're pay not. us to the survive. Matter, I, I, have a, I have a plot point for our DM. Trigger, <laughs> wants, to, Trigger wants to rule the universe as he gets older. <laughs> <laughs> he was always an ambitious little rat. It, you know, if you think about it, where it's like you know, Ghost and I are like Pinky in the Brain. <laughs> what are we going to do? That's true. What, what do you want to do today, Trigger? Anything we do every day, Ghost. Try, try to, to take over the universe. <laughs> Trigger, Urgh. Trigger, are you thinking what I am thinking? I am. Let's do it. You stick your gun in your hand and wait for Ayalisi to turn into something evil. But where do we get the hula hoops, Trigger? That's what I want to know. Ayalisi <laughs> will know where to get them. Okay. It's, it's bad, but we have to bring her into our plot. But don't tell her about the killing her part. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> one other question. Is it a bad idea? Perhaps we should next time leave the Crystal of Power with uh, Cheesecake? Uh, because now we have it with us, and they can attack us and take our peace, and that does not seem like a good idea. Sorry? You don't Brilliant. think it's safer with you? No. What, what do we have, six people who are level four? Doesn't Chiskix <laughs> have, like, a bunch of level 12 and level 30 people? <laughs> I would assume that there's a, uh... <laughs> Some place to lock it up and on the station that would be more uh, safer than with us, but yeah. Well, right now it's in your null space, so. Wait a minute. What if we created five, six fake exact replicas of it and we carried those with us so that if one of us gets caught, we can just give him the fake one? That is pretty smart, Trigger. You are smart, Trigger. Yeah, but then when they realize it's fake, then they'll get even more mad, and then they'll kill us harder. 
No, no, that is not right, Elise. They will kill you, but giving me enough time to kill them. It is okay. I'm pretty sure they're going to kill you first because you're going to start talking. Uh, and then no. they're going to be like, mm, yeah, we should get rid of that one first. He's really annoying. No, I think they will see your necklace and they will think, oh, Cult of Devour must kill them first because they are deadly. And then I can kill them after they kill you. Don't worry. It is okay. No, no, no. The Cult of the Devour is also after this. So if they see the necklace, they'd be like, oh, she's with us. Cool. We trust her. Let's kill the other guys. Looks like they're being annoying and bothering her. Yes, because if I am in a group called the Cult of the Devour, I am going to be very friendly. I am going to have kittens and hot chocolate with my other friends in the Cult of the Devour. That is. He what sounds like group. Yeah. He's totally group. All right. So you guys are. You don't know them. Moving across your 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 um, ridge, it kind of comes down and meets the um, the lower area. Do you have a marching order? You two by two here. Uh, Ozzy's definitely in front. Uh, Ghost will be right behind Ozzy with one extra space. I'm in the middle somewhere. Oh, I thought I'm you were going to be at the back. I figured the bug was in the back. I was going to stay at the back and watch the bug. <laughs> All right, bug's in the back. Where are we going? Uh, off the path, apparently. Walking the path. <laughs> hey, how high is that ridge, by the way? 40 feet. 40, 40 feet? feet? Really fast. Yes. Ooh, uh... A ghost is going to jump in one jump and breach the ridge. I got a better one. Okay, never mind. You're going to throw him? I was going to throw him up in the air. So tell us what you see. Because uh, we're in low gravity, so we can jump three times as high. And I've got the uh, that feat that lets you go super fast, which also lets you jump twice your distance. So I could go like 40, 50 feet right now, easy. Yeah, but Elise has the uh, jetpacks, doesn't she? She does. I do. The jump jets. Oh, jump jets. Do any of you guys have thrown weapons? That sounds like an Elton John song. I'm just saying. <laughs> Benny and the jump jets. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying the Elton John song was do any of you have thrown weapons. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. <laughs> if, you have a, right. if you have a thrown weapon, the range is tripled. If, if you jump too high, you'll jump off the asteroid, just saying. Yeah. So you, you notice that um, there's this ring in the center, and there's more of that ash where you found um, the cold iron there, and the the cult of the hour symbol. <clears throat> so there's a ridge, there's an outer, there's a, it's almost like a, a circle, a semicircle and a semicircle. Got it. Due north of us, oh, or north of most of the group. I just centered you on it. Yep. Oh, it didn't work for me. Did I use the wrong button? I moved him. Okay. Oh, so the ash is Got basically dead. The ash is basically dead people. Got it. No. <laughs> oh no, that's... we're sifting through remains. Are you going into the search? Oh yeah. Hey, everybody, move your piece in there. Oh god. Uh, no. I hate when stuff like says stuff like that. Can we do a perception <laughs> check before we walk in? Too late. <laughs> Chris, it's too late. I'm already there. Thin rock formations here curve almost elegantly to form the rough shapes of caves and tunnels with piles of silvery ash nestled among them like snowdrifts. Oh wait, am I in the right? Am I in the right place? Uh, I was thinking more on the inside. Oh, like where Bugman is. There. Anybody else going in there? Go up. All right, move yourself. Tonight's going to be some moving yourselves, because there's going to be some stuff later on where you're going to have to do it. Oh, so much work. <laughs> so hard to move the mouse. I don't have a... Ghost has drawn his azimuth laser pistol. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. All right, everybody's armed. Oh, in his other hand, he has the tactical to baton, because there's no penalty to having a different weapon in each hand. I have a shard in my other hand. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Pay attention. For now, the first forty-five minutes. <laughs> for the first three fingers of scotch. But hey, do you think right. that any creature that lives on an asteroid that has cold iron as part of its like minerals is going to be affected by that? That's an interesting <laughs> question. All right, so cold iron is part of a crash. <laughs> mm. uh, Ozzy, you have you Ozzy and Trigger and Ghost are outside of the perimeter of that. They haven't gone inside. Not yet. Wimps. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I can't tell what 
what is inside and what is outside exactly and how we get in and out. So Okay, there's a big curve? Like like this is an open passage area here? Correct. I can't see your let me draw yes. let, let me draw. Ooh. How about this? I'll just stand there next near near I Okay, that, that yeah, that's inside. Sure. So, yeah. so there's this I don't want that, I want it freehand. I there's, yelled there's, there's I yelled. this range on the outside. And then this range on the end. Uh, I don't see anything. I don't, I don't see anything. anything at all. No. Are, are you on the right layer, Chuck? What layer? I drew it on the freaking GM. <laughs> you rookie. <laughs> yeah, you rookie. <laughs> that. That's Ooh, the, there it is. That's yeah. the outer layer. That. All right. I, I yell to the others that went inside, don't worry. Ghost and I will kill the people who killed you when they come through. All right. Everybody who was inside, give me a perception check. 10. 13. You are opposing my stealth check of 23. Ooh. Oh, crap. Oh, come on, Sivian. You could have gotten that. Uh, well, I, also, I also have blind sense, don't forget. Which I got did... a natural 20, which is not enough. <sighs> Hold on. My blind sense. Adam. Zero. Hold on. Ozzy is only perceptive if it's standing in front of him and trying to whack him with a knife or a sword or whatever. So my antenna grant me uh, the vibration senses uh, in the air and out about 30 feet and ignores the stealth bonuses from any form of visual camouflage. Invisibility and the like when attempting. Perception check opposed by a creature stealth check. Even a successful perception check. Any foe that can't be seen still has total concealment. 50% miss. Anybody know the rule? Yeah, yeah. But I think the top bit is the important one. If the bad guy is within 30 feet of uh, Sivian, right, so he can so you, you So they were, they were hidden under the ash. Oh crap! I'm standing right on top of one, and but I'm. We don't know that. The only person who knows this right now is Sivian. So well, if they, if they weren't there. moving, oh, they're attacking. Sivian yes. would never know. These are good screelings, right? No. They're you attacking can't... us. Of course, they're not good screelings. I'm, I'm sorry you can't see their picture because the the, the colored dots. Um, but we are in combat. Oh wow! Ooh. There are five colored dots. <laughs> all right okay so, guys get your butts in here we have some dots to attack all right so um <laughs> well, we're this, only is our in our space. this isn't our fight we don't know these dots <laughs> and they're not attacking you guys right they're not attacking us so i'm sorry i Alisi. good luck in there <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I have a long memory i'm a rat that's like an elephant. They never forget. I love when Bob rolls initiative. 18 dice roll. <laughs> so so I forgot the extra one. Hell yeah. Nine. Can you add us to the initiative? You can add yourselves. You no, I can't. You can't, we can't add ourselves to the, to the turn order. I was, why is that? At least unless there's a different way to do it that we don't know about. I, I just right click and go to add turn. I clicked or right clicked and I appeared. I think uh, if you click on if you click on your token and you have a character sheet and you click on the initiative role on the character sheet, it will uh, automatically add you. There's that if. Mm -hmm. I got a I got a twenty six. Who am I missing here? Sip me. All right. Your uh, dex modifier modifier is uh, plus four, right? Trigger. Uh, now it's plus six. Oh, then you are ahead of me. How'd you go from four to six? Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, plus five. It should be plus five. Okay. Because of my new my new permanent dex thing. Oh, nice. Hi, Lisey. I put it in. Oh, I put it in. And then oh, you rolled a zero? Oh, jeez, you all rolled good. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. not Ozzy. Yeah. See if you Hey, how'd it get to 18? Should be f f 5. Oh, sorry, buddy. I thought I saw... Oh, that's your perception check. Okay. Done. All right. I'll reorder quick. Um, all right. So, the... the 
All right, this matter. The surprise round goes first. Who made the perception checks? Sivian did. The what were we supposed to have rolled? Your percept your perception check that I asked you to roll a minute ago. It was supposed to be twenty three, right? Yes, mm -hmm. I did not. Beat All right, the rats are out. Ozzy did not succeed. So really, Sivian and the Screelings get to go. Ah crap! Hey, so what are what are Screelings? Do we know? Uh, I can show there you. are multicolored dots. There's oh, actually a link that I put in the chat. And, uh... No, no, you have to check to know that information. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll just do a search in uh, Google. <laughs> Uh, they are an aberration. I'll just say they are an aberration. So I need a uh, mysticism check. Everybody. Anybody has mysticism? You got it. Uh, fourteen. I beat the mystic at a mysticism no, check. No, he just rolled a. Oh, he rolled a. a I rolled a natural one. <laughs> there we are. That's the. <laughs> that's that's the Christmas. That's the we go. All right. Gotcha. Uh, Son of a pun. 25. All right. So, Screelings, I'll show you a picture. Do I have one here? Yes. That's a Screeling. Oh, looks like what uh, Millennium Falcon was eaten by. That was a fine ox. Looks, looks like a little oh, my bad. birdie. Turn on the power cables. That's right. So, uh, they, are they do look kind of like fine ox. Just that's what they were called. <laughs> Um, they are susceptible. They do have some damage reduction, and they are susceptible to cold iron. That bypasses the damage reduction. Aha! 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 Suckers! <laughs> so, I'm going to delete that just out of the way, but you've seen it now. I like it there. All right. Um, so, Ghost Trigger not, are not in there. They didn't see the attack happen, so they'll act on the next round. Nala. Failed to check. I at least he failed to check. So the screelings go. Screeling next to Sivian. Uh, where is my chi chi? Attacks with his. What's the word here? Uh, he has a. Really? He, he bites at Sivian. Oof. 10 plus. Uh, nine, you know you nine, can just add your statics right into the roll, right? I can't because every creature has different statics. Right, but you can still, you know... Oh, your is your d20 just a button? I put a button for every every die at the bottom of the screen, so I don't keep typing. Gotcha, uh, okay. okay. So 19, Chris, versus um, KAC. Ooh, I hit it. All right, this plus four. Oops. I really need a second monitor for this. So eight damage, Chris. You got it. Screeling attacking uh, Ayalisi. Same bite attack. Natural I two. Think it misses. Plus, uh, so it was bonus nine, so 11. Yeah, versus KAC. Nice. All right. Sucker. Um, Ozzy, these screelings move into flanking. Oh, you? they're smart. <clears throat> Uh, they actually have a special ability. An attack on a surprise round? They moved. That is their turn. Oh, uh, okay. Nice catch. That is a good catch, Adam. And I give it to you. I don't complain about it at all. <laughs> I don't take it back. All right, Ghost, you're up. Uh, is this ridge, the outer ridge, uh, is that elevated? So if he runs to the outer ridge, he's got... Uh... He's looking top down, like into a killing zone, for example. Oh, I'm sorry. Chris made his check. He gets to go. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> choo, choo, choo with a five. How's that for you? All right. That's uh, easy enough. I am going to... Who knows? You, I hope. Got so many choices. Uh... <laughs> uh... Well, I'm going to go ahead and shoot at it with my pistol. I'm going to save my spells. And that, does that take an attack of opportunity because he's close? Uh, yes. And they've, uh, I don't, yes, yes, and they get attack, attacks because they have acted on Okay, even though it's a surprise round, does he still get his reaction or not? I don't recall. <laughs> I will not give you the reaction this turn, but next turn, Chris, unless you use a melee weapon, he will get to attack you for shooting him. Right, but I, can use, I can use a pistol. 
No, you need to use a melee weapon or you need to step back. Right now, oh. you can use your pistol, yes. Yeah, this turn, I'll let you use your pistol. Next oh, turn. okay. Otherwise, i got to use a melee. Okay. I can use my tactical sword. That's no okay. problem. Use that, then. Why not? Or you can use the shard. No. Ooh, 21. Ooh, natural 20. Natural. It's a crit. Nice. And slashing, 8 plus 6 damage. Ooh. Maybe. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's a 1d6, 2 plus 4, because it's, uh, right? Is that level correct? Yep, uh, plus 4 because you add your level. Now that you hit level 3, it, you the, you get plus your level in damage for melee weapons. So I think it's just, I think it's just 8. Uh, no, but you have a, you're doing double damage because you rolled a crit. So, oh, okay, so well, 8 plus 6, there you go. Mm -hmm. Alright, so 14. Ta-ta! Damn, guys! That is slashing, Josh. I don't know if that matters. Yeah. No. Uh, all right. Nice and done. Uh -huh. Ghost, you are up. It is a forty. They are all forty foot ridges for the sake of discussion. And is the dust obscuring the the vision to ten feet only? No. Oh. No. That's, that's not it here. It's it's um. There was the, the captain said there was a uh, a caverns underground that, that, that where that happens. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I think uh, he can get around 40 feet to about here. So he'll move uh, in the ridge overlooking Ozzy. And then he will uh, fire down upon the creature. That's you want to be on the ridge. Uh, can I still see them from a step back from behind the ridge? No, you have to be on the ridge to so see I down. Can't, like on an angle, I can't see him from here? Okay. You got to be on the top of the ridge. Right. There's, no, there's no negative... To it. I'm just I'm I don't see how you'd be able to see from the far side of the ridge, so fair enough. So he goes with the trick attack. Trick attack does allow a movement. Unfortunately, sure. the trick attack, unless the CR of the creature is one or less, uh the, the stealth part of the trick attack does not work. Uh that's to check with you. He his CR is not one or less. Okay. So it's just gonna be a regular attack with the pistol. Uh, it is a hit, uh, natural 17. Uh, oh, and max damage. So it would be six fire damage from the azimuth laser pistol on the green guy directly in front of Ozzy. I need to retcon one thing. Mm -hmm. When Chris hit the Screeshire, it did not, it, he hurt him, but he did not do the damage he thought he would do. Dang. Okay. And what a good roll that yeah, was. Damage reduction, we talked about that. Oh. Which one did you target, Bob? Uh, the green one in front of Ozzy. And how much damage did you do? Uh, six fire damage. It barely scratches him. Mm. Okay. Well, we should probably attack with the shards. All right, uh, Trigger, you're up. Uh, okay. <laughs> um so trigger is uh thinking that it makes sense for him to throw a grenade at Ozzy. <laughs> He's not wrong. I don't I don't I don't think you have line of sight to do that. That ridge is, is forty feet high. You have to move to have line of sight to do that. Bounce it off. Uh, if he takes a step to the right. Or yeah. bounce it off. So what if I move? What if I just shift? That's fine. Here? That's fine. I'm just keeping you honest. Yeah, no, no, no. That, that, no, that's legit. You know what, Josh? Honestly, it's hard to tell how wide that square. Cause zoom in, guys. Everything tonight you're going to have to zoom in on because the, the, the squares are off. Okay. All right. It's... That's which the the grenade targets an intersection between squares, which isn't actually an intersection between squares. <laughs> so I guess I don't know how to ping, but it'd be like on one of my corners is where you probably want to yeah. target. Yes, yeah. that's what my thought was to actually target the uh, the green guy. So you're targeting the corner between the green, the blue, and Ozzy. Mikey, yes. Mikey, you're doing it all wrong. You get directly on Ozzy. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> all right. That's what all right. Doing. So, <laughs> I call to him. Jeff is the voice of experience here. On area <laughs> what kind of grenade is it, Mike? 
Um, well, I could choose one of two, but I think I'm going to go with the uh, one that probably will do less damage to you. I, yes. the, the one that I was thinking of using is the sticky bomb grenade, which basically entangles them for 2d4 rounds. But that means you're now stuck entangled to these guys if it gets you. Yeah, that would kind of suck for me. Yeah. So, so right. So we're just going to go with the uh, regular old frag grenade. Okay. But if it's a strength check to get to get out of, he could probably get out of it. He could do it better than they could probably. No. All right. No more meta. Mikey's out of the side. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to go with the frag grenade. Is what I grabbed first. Okay. So I'm. Um, I guess the first thing is to throw it or to see if what what. Yeah, it's an athletics check. Yep. I thought it was just an attack. It's it's an attack against AC five. You 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 target a floor or a spot, and it's our armor class five. Uh, I rolled a natural fourteen. I think that's gonna be okay. Hmm. Okay. And so that is it, lands, it lands basically between Ozzy and the green guy. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Isn't there a roll for that where a thrown object, like where you have to roll a one d eight, and it says oh. where it is? That's only if he misses. If he misses. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I've been reading. <laughs> <laughs> the DC okay. save on the blast is equal to 10 plus half the grenade's item level plus trigger's dexterity modifier. Right. So my dex modifier is a plus 5. So 5. And what's the level of the grenade? Uh, they're just level 2 grenades, I believe. So it'll be 10 plus 6 is a 16 DC to save. And that's a reflex save. And if you, you survive that, you get, um, I think, you, you avoid any additional damages that happen from it, or you take half damage. It's half damage, I think. Hey, I got a 21 on my reflex save. Ooh, you just made it. All right. Well, not just. A, by a factor of five. It's a reflex, reflex, reflex save. Plus two. All right, first one. Blue is plus two to that. He fails. Green fails. Oh, this is worth What's it. Damage? What a cool move that was. Seriously. Does pink get involved? Is pink in the blast? Oh, yeah. 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 15 foot range or something? Oh, my gosh. It's 15. Oh. What's the damage, Mikey? Uh, so the damage is oh, um, so one d six piercing. Okay. And, uh, five. None of them are hurt. Oh, they <laughs> only spin up to five points of damage. Oh. Uh, Ozzy, on the other hand, takes two damage. <laughs> <laughs> it looked cool as hell, though. Must say. <laughs> Wait, they there's a dust cloud that comes up and obscures their line of sight. <laughs> oh, come on, seriously. The goddamn grenade. <laughs> yep. But it also obscures Ozzy's sight. That's okay. That'll give Ghost and I a chance to sneak in and backstab him or whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're next to each other, though, so that we, we can all still see each other. Pinky, greeny, bluey, and me. And Clyde. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. you're all... In fact, now Mikey can't... Bob can't shoot them, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. He okay, can now he run, jumps up out of the ridge, runs up out of the ridge, and jumps up and lands on top of the blue one with the cold iron shard leading the way. All right, I will give you a. Uh, I'll give you the benefit of flanking for this. I'll give you a plus two on your on your attack. You don't have to. Because I rolled a natural two. <gasps> oh. <laughs> All right, it was cool. It was sound. It, it was really cool in my head when I said it. It did. Okay. Seem <laughs> Why do you use a Benny? It did sound really good. Like for a second, Jeff, I we were like, "Oh my god, Jeff, you Jeff, know what? Do it." This is my first roll of the day. I might Benny it. Heck yeah! Because <laughs> I got two of them. Why wouldn't I? Come All on, right, I, give you, I give you a bonus. More nice. You read that as a two and not a two zero. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven? Oof. Okay. Plus two? Uh, an unarmed attack, I get plus one, it says on my uh, character sheet. Plus three, so that's fourteen. Is it flanked? Yeah, that was with flanking. Damn, okay. I, I, actually, I gave him plus two for flanking. I'm going to give him plus two for the rule of cool. I tried. 
<laughs> so right, that's, that's, 60. that's a hit. So that's a hit. D six, D four. What is it? D four. Improvised weapon. D four plus strength. Oh, and is you an are these basic weapon. weapons? Yeah, it's a twelve. It's effectively okay. So then, and also plus your level. Good point. All right, my strength isn't great, guys. It might be a seven. That's oh, a minus one. Seven? That's a minus two. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I'm just going to roll and see what I get. Jeff, did you do a personal advancement? Did you improve one of your stats by two? Have you? Got... Yes, and I did my constitution, which uh, was, was also a seven. That was a good call. It goes all the way up to a nine now. Wow. Whoa. You're a stud. Nobody's nope. throwing okay. sand in his eyes at the beach. I rolled the three. All right. I gave you plus two. <laughs> for your plus roll. five. My That's strength five. is minus two, but my level, what did Adam say? Plus it's four. It's just your level. Yeah, so plus four. So that's seven damage. Am I, reading that? Am I adding that up correctly, guys? Three that sounds good to me. Minus two, plus his level is four, so that's six. Uh Seven shard damage, okay? Just for the record. That's it, yeah. All right. The creature takes the full damage, the full brunt of the blow. Whew. It rips into his, his skin, a slashing weapon, uh, and it screeches in pain. It doesn't squeal? Correct. <laughs> 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 All right, Alicia, is that it now? You move, so you can't use get him. So I think that's it. All right, I'm gonna attack it with the the shard. All right. Hold a natural ten. What is my bab? Hold on. When did you turn into your mom's character from Ten Candles? <laughs> <laughs> God, I want to play that again. Oh, now my bab is three. All right, so I got thirteen. Thirteen. Then, What's your strength uh, modifier? My strength modifier is zero. Okay. I at least misses. <laughs> Do I add anything else? Are you no, you have no fight. Oh, no. She's going against the purple, right? Yeah, I was going against the purple, but... So, okay, I, I think we work. should... I think maybe we take a second here to explain the jewels something. So, if you take... Oh, I don't think you have... I don't think... Never mind. I was going to say, if she can move here, she can flank this one with Ozzy. But that's a move of two from where she is. When you have when you have the bad guy in between you and a friend, you get a plus two to hit the bad guy. But if you move away from a bad guy and you're standing next to the bad guy, he gets a free attack on you. Yeah, like opportunity yeah. attack. Right on. Now I thought we were going to talk about uh, accent consistency. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can do any bad accent you want, you just have to be consistent at it. Consistently bad, exactly. Yeah, that works too. Yeah, look at me. Case in point. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I can really do a consistently bad, bad southern accent. I could do a consistently bad bird too. Apparently, it's not happening right okay, now. Okay, the orange screeling scratches at. Um, can I wait? Can I move? Yeah, uh, you can move one square. You can shift, or you have to say, was it a guarded step? Guarded, step. guarded step. What is that? that so, a guarded step prevents an act, attack of opportunity, but you can only move one square. That's all. I, I just want to move back a little bit. That's fine. Did I miss anything? No. Uh, yeah, you're dead. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, we tried to save you, Jeff. Yeah, by the way, we killed you. No. Good night, everybody. <laughs> All right, Orange Screeling attacks. Um, Sivian. Ooh, natural twenty. That is two D four plus four. Piercing. So, four, six, ten damage. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a spell, and gonna reflect that. Ooh. Because I have reflect, I have reflecting armor. You have to. Wait, no, no. No. Nope, wait. Oh, I gotta put it on. Yeah, that's right. I gotta put it on first. I thought it was oh. an instant. That's right. It's not an instant. Ten. Ten points. What do you mean you have to put it on? No, no, I have to cast a spell to have it on. It's not an oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yes, my bad. Definitely. I was waiting for it, and I interrupt that. 
Oh, yeah, hey. that's, what I, that's what I was thinking. Hey, hey, well, Chris wasn't there for that. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, a reminder, that spell, even though it's called Reflecting Armor, you still take the full damage, and then you reflect back half the damage taken. Uh-uh. Nope. Yeah, it's, check it Not out. Chris's... Nope. <laughs> nope. Read the definition. I read it. It said... It says... Uh, da, 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 uh, when you take hit point damage from an attack made Wait, with stop a right weapon... There. That's... Stop right when there. When you take damage. You just took the damage. See? So you no, took... no, no, no. That, 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 that. If you if you do, the armor crackles with energy, arcing it through the air, striking the creature back, which takes an amount of force damage equal to the damage to you. Which that Never again, mind. stop right there. Yeah, there you go. Applies <laughs> to you. Shut up. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, it also says yeah. when you take hit point damage. So if you're taking stamina damage, it doesn't do anything. And one All last, right, well, and one last consideration: if that guy hits you for ten, you reflect back five. If he's got damage resistance five, he wouldn't do anything to him. Hey, you know what, guys? You all suck for. I'm no, never sorry. reading again. I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I so think the problem is you didn't read in the first place, Chris. I, I don't read ever, and that's this is why I'll never do it again. <laughs> no, listen, listen. That spell is a cool spell. You just gotta wait until somebody hits you with a staggering amount of damage, and then it's gonna pay for itself. No. No. All right, purple. Purple. So if purple moves it to here, does that give double flanking? Does that give Nala an mm. attack of opportunity? No, because he never... Wait, was he away from Nala? Yeah, he was up here. No. So he moves here. No, there's no attack of opportunity there. You can move next yeah. to somebody and not get attacked. And now if he attacks Ozzy, he's using a melee, I presume. So Nala still doesn't yes. get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Um, you already attacked him. It's only moving away, Bob? Yeah, it's only moving away. Okay. So... I want to read this so I make sure I get it right. When two or more Screelings flank a single target, oh boy. each Screeling attacking that creature receives an additional plus one circumstance bonus to attack rolls. When two or more Screelings flank a single target, each Screeling deals one point of bleed damage in addition to its normal damage on a successful hit. This bleed damage stacks with bleed damage from other Screelings, but not with itself. So it, you can never, you can only ever get four out of it if it happens. Well... Okay, it's plus one. Okay. So it's plus one for every hit. For every, it's actually, it's plus three for every attack bonus. Cause, and then it's plus one bleed damage if it hits. Okay. Okay. As long as you keep track of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in this case, I'm going to roll 4D. Uh, so the is there a way to add... To roll four d twenties and have each one get plus whatever. And never mind, I'll just roll. Them. I'm sure there is. Yes. Okay. First attack. Flanks. Natural two. That's plus what... flanking. I'm not bother. <laughs> well, what's attack. your what, what? What's your attack bonus? <laughs> this is great. Double twos. Love it. The attack bonus is plus nine. Does that include the flanking? <laughs> uh, plus eleven with the flanking. All right, so you need to roll... Plus 12 with the circumstance bonus. So f 11 or better. I shouldn't have told him that. No, no, you shouldn't. There's one hit. That hits. So oh, one hit. One hit. <laughs> oh, I rolled an extra... That last one was... A, okay, so one hit. Um, that last D20 is... Where'd the 15 come from? You rolled an extra one. You rolled five total d twenty. Yeah, it's weird because I, I see three on my screen. So the one that hit deals um, <coughs> so deal one d four plus one. Come on, roll. Roll. Uh, uh, so it's four damage. Disregard the second. Disregard the third roll, and you have one bleed damage. Does bleed damage still come off of stamina, or does that go right to HP? I'm going to let you look that up. I gotcha. I think it comes off of stamina, but I'll confirm. Yeah, because it's your turn. All right, then I'm going to take that damage now, right? Yes. And it's not a save to get rid of it. It's not like fire. <laughs> I just keep bleeding until I die. I think you need to heal health. You need to heal HP or something. Bob's going to look it up. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to use my shard and I'm going to attack the one to the left of me, the dark purple. 
Uh, so I have a bonus from flanking. So this is going to be at a plus two, and the flavor text is all wrong. <laughs> all right. Uh, I actually oh, have shit. it here. Too late. I was going to say, I just want to fight defensively. Yeah. Your bleeding can be stopped with a successful DC 15 medicine check as a standard action or through the application of any ability that restores hit points. Okay. All right. So you, which one did you attack? Uh, attack the purple one. Okay. And did you use, what did you use for weapon? I used the shard. So it's a 16 because I have flanking. That is a hit. Mm. Oh, okay. 14 and, damage. Uh, the damage is, is correct. 14 damage. Okay. You ring his bell. Nice. Uh, I also want to shift. Uh, sorry, do a uh, whatever it's called, guarded step to here. Mm. Okay. And I totally should have fought defensively, even if it would have made me miss. <laughs> All right, um, Sivian, you're up. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, and shard the little beast. <laughs> uh, I hope so. Good luck. And you know how that. You know how that's going to work. Uh, hold on. It's it's a D20 plus your BAB your plus your strength bonus. All right, so it's three minus two. Uh, same as your, it's the same a t two hit as your dueling sword. So if you want to roll the uh, dueling sword attack and just you can roll separately on the damage, that would work. All right. Fourteen is a miss. Oh. Can you can you find one more? Nope. Hey. I can't think of any. I got done. Oh, oh, I got it back. I got it backwards. It's a fourteen is a hit. Oh, fourteen is a hit, huh? All right. And then it's a five because I rolled a natural one. No, nope. nice. uh, nice that job. is uh, that's your sword damage. Oh, was the shard? I got roll six. I think the shard is one d four. No, one d four. I got to roll them in d four. Hold on. Three. And then add your level to the roll, so that's oh, seven. seven. The statics will all be the same. Close enough. All right, top of the order, Ghost, you are up. Uh, Ghost decides that he's not going to do as much damage versus using that shard thing. So he, from a cheek pouch, spits it into his hand as a free action. And can he use the low gravity to drop down uh, to, to behind the green guy opposite Ozzy? Uh, you want to leap over there? Yes. Uh, give me a, an acrobatics check. Okay. Do a flip too. DC twelve. DC, DC fifteen 12. with the flip. <laughs> the flip's gonna look way cooler though. I'm going with the I flip. I know. Oh, uh, maybe I messed myself up. Uh, twenty-two. No, twenty-two. Twenty-two is fine. Oh, well, he flips, I guess. And yes. Puts himself because down. of the force of the flip, he gets plus one damage, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a trick attack flip. with the uh, with flip the damage. Is that working? There it is. On the green guy, trick attack. Just waiting for it to resolve. Boy, the 3D dice do take a little bit of time to... Uh... Yes. Uh, CR, is a CR 10 or less? Yes. Okay. Then sneak uh, trick attack is in effect. Um, and then we'll see what the roll is. Yeah, I feel like the 3D dice are slower today than they have been in the past. I agree. I may turn it off. I think it's busy. Like, I'm still waiting for it to resolve right now. I'm thinking I'm going to drop the dice and just show the results. Uh, so, at a 1d4, I rolled 1 minimum damage. Uh, for the trick attack, which is 1d8, I rolled a 2. Total damage, 6 with the cold iron. And, uh, Ozzy? Against a uh, question for you, Ozzy. Do you prefer to have the green guy with a minus 2 AC? Or do you prefer him to be off kilter, which minus two two attacks? Uh, personally, I'd rather go with minus two to attacks. <laughs> Done. Okay, so for everybody now, the green guy has minus two to attacks until the beginning of Ghost next turn, and that's the end of Ghost turn. Okay. Ghost went. Uh, trigger, you're up. Trigger oh. moves up there. Yep. 
and he attacks him with the shard. Okay. Actually, Trigger comes up and says, "Hey, go, ghost, ghost, guess what? what? What's that, Trigger? I am, I am fighting here. I think I farted, but I shard myself." <laughs> Oh, God. You are oh going God. to make me drop this weapon. That is hilarious. Trigger, you are so funny. <laughs> Natural 19? Is it? Trigger, guess what? What? You are what? silent but deadly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's brutal. Hey, Aren't you Aren't All right, you Bob, Bob, I have to give you back your third Benny for that one. Trigger, Trigger, I think you cut the screes. I, I did. <laughs> I cut the screening. Uh, I three points of damage. Oh, no, wait, seven points of damage. Yeah, right. there you go. That's good. <laughs> All right, so to recap, orange and green are hurt uh, moderately badly. Pink is unharmed. Purple has a... Uh, he's hurt pretty he's hurt moderately badly as well, and blue has a scratch. I just uh, that was that. What's the status of purple? It totally. Purple is moderately harmed. Okay. Um, Nala, you're up. Does anybody need a healing? No, no. I, I, I can use some stamina. Sivian, Sivian, you took 10, right? I took uh, 18. Ooh. Nala, you must make a joke first and then heal him. <laughs> uh, inspire, him. inspire him via joke. I will try to inspire him. Mm. Remember, and... he's a bug. It doesn't take much. Just don't um, step on him, that's all. Actually, that's Sivian, Sivian, are you a stink bug? No, wait, that was the wrong <laughs> answer. <laughs> Are you a stink bug or no? Get in there. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, Sivan, you're going to get, I'm going to inspire you and you're going to get eight of your uh, stamina points back. Nice. All right. You reach out. And, just... and then I will tell everybody else to focus on, Josh, you say the blue one was least hurt? Yes. Uh, Yes, the green one is in the green, purple, and, and purple, orange. and orange are the most hurt. They're all pretty much the same. Pink is unharmed, and blue is um, somewhere between pink and the other ones. I will say, focus on the purple one. Allons-y. Allons-y. Right. Now it's done. I let's go there. Put whatever. Um. I, Elise, is going to use her Inject Nanobot spell. Whoa. Oh, I like that one. Breaking out the big guns. Yeah, 48. Is that often she's next to somebody? No. You have to, you have to succeed with a touch attack. How do I do that? You roll, you get... A touch attack is not the same as AC, though. I'll double check. Yeah, I don't know how that works. the natural 19 though so i feel like it's gonna work oh well done it's gonna work <laughs> what is it 48 48 48 no 48. Seven. Eight. 16. 16. wow damage it does take it it does save its damage reduction uh, it is wounded badly. The acid is. Yeah, it would have helped if I rolled more than a four. The acid is bored holes into. It. You can see where it's uh, Ooh. significantly injured. Nanobots. All right. Nanobots. The Nanobots. um. Oh, and it causes the confused condition. Confused. You are befuddled. You treat all creatures as enemies. If you are attacked, you always attack the creatures that last attacked you until that creature is dead or out of sight. Oh! Otherwise, roll D percent at the end of your turn and do it. So you are attacked by you, so he will attack you. Great! In fact, I will mitigate that one right now. Okay. That is going to be a hit. Why is it attacking me now? Hold on. Because it's your turn. 
So he says, I lease you, then Screeling's oh, in the man. order. So D4 plus four. So five damage to Ilisi. Oh, I can all I'll, I'll be okay. All right, screaming with uh, Sivian. Oh, okay. That is gonna miss against Sivian. Uh, Pink is going to move up here to get flanking on Ghost. And Pink and Green will both attack Ghost. Pink first. With a candlestick. Um, thirteen plus. Uh, nine. So twenty-two, Bob. That's gonna hit. My KAC is twenty. Actually, twenty-four. So um, it's gonna be a D four plus four. So that's six damage, and you have one bleed right now. Got it. Got it. Um, green is gonna attack you as well. That's gonna be a hit. So that is six more damage, and now you're taking two bleed on your turn. Okay. Now, normal bleed does not stack, but these guys have something that lets them stack it. Is that correct? They can't. Theirs can't stack. Gotcha. With themselves, but they can stack with each other. Got it. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to give you. Come on. Let me see. Ooh. Ah, come on. If you have a minus two bleed, does that mean that you're adding? HP? No, that's you it. Have a big <laughs> Oz, you have a red dot, too, because you are still on bleed damage. Yes, I have one. You're on bleed one. All right. Um, purple missed. I uh, hit I see all that is left is blue, who will target um, one, two, Jeff, three, four, trigger. So one, Nala. Ooh, that doesn't be a hit for Nala. D4 plus two, so that is um, six damage to Nala. She goes down. <laughs> Ozzy, take your one damage. One damage. And you're up. And, uh, da, 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 da. Again, I sh that. I'm going to apologize, first of all, for not having this ready. But I'm going to do a can I do a full attack against two different creatures? I don't see why not. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to do a full attack. I'm going to target the first one against green, and then the second one against the blue. Man, I should have so, should have put minus minus a two to the green guy instead of minus two to hit. That hey, helped we out. didn't know. That's okay. No, we didn't. All right, so here's the green guy. So this is going to be at a minus two because I have plus two from flanking, minus four from the full attack. Great idea. <laughs> uh, that's a mess with the nine. Duh. And on the blue guy, this is just going to be a straight up minus four. Unless, do I have flanking with, uh, is that Nala there? Mm -hmm. I feel like you might. Okay, so this is also at a minus two. Okay, so 14. Oh, wait. Isn't that the one that... Wait, which one did Nala say? Which one did... Uh, purple. Nala. Purple. Purple. Oh, good idea. Do I rule both of those with a Benny or just one? <laughs> just one. All right, you know what? I'm going to re-roll green. I like it. What, you, what, what did you roll, Adam? Maybe. For green? Ah. Uh, what was your two hit for green? 14. With your, with your flanking from Ghost? Yeah. Actually, 14 is a hit. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. 14 was, 14 was a hit for, for Chris. So yeah, 14 is a hit. That's 13 damage then. 13 on green. Using All the right. shard, I presume? Yeah, yeah, I'm using the shard, actually. He's reeling, but not... Uh... Wait a minute. I totally screwed this up. I said green was first. I think I was looking at my damage roll. Green was a 21... So a 19 against green, and then a 14 against blue. Oh, okay. Then you may have hit. Yeah, blue. I'm sorry. I, I screwed up, Josh. I was looking at my damage rolls as my hit rolls. So, all right. So green is dead. Yeah, green took 11 damage, and then if 14 is a hit against blue, then it takes 13 damage. Well, Why did you say 19 a minute ago? Because 19 is my hit roll against green. Okay. Then green is not dead. What is and blue green took 11 damage. Okay. I got that. And what's blue taking? Blue takes 13 damage. 
Okay. Okay. They I think I hurt. put myself into some kind of condition with that as well. <laughs> what about? I don't know. I'm not tired, but I just wanted to say good night. Okay. Everybody, somebody cute wants to say good night. Good night, Henry. Good night. Sleep well. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Liz. Good night, Liz. Good Take care. Hey, Liz, Beth. I never see Uncle Jeff's, Uncle Jeff's internet isn't good enough for us to see his picture for some reason. So. Good night. Going back with the girls, Henry? We stay here. I got no food. <laughs> All right. Um, where were we? Ozzy went. Sivian, you're up. There we go. Going to go ahead and slash with the uh, iron. Got to strike while the oh. iron's cold. Ah. Does yours do recurring damage? What? Your yeah. cost of conversion? Or your inject No. That'd be a no. No, that's a tough one, buddy. That is yeah. a miss. Hey, that's okay. All right. I'm just, fight I'm just fighting this one alone while y'all are double teaming everybody else. It's cool. I got it. <laughs> Cool. No big. Deal. You, you could shift your way over here one square at a time. Easy no the way. Team references there, buddy. Sorry, guarded stepped your way over here. All right, ghost drop. Uh, we're going with the trick attack once again on the green. We're gonna see if we can take out the green guy. All right. Uh, so on the stealth part, is the CR three or less? Stealth. Is, the CR is. Oops. I actually, put that one. Up. I didn't write that down on my notes. One more second. The CR is three. Woohoo! So there will be trick attack damage. And uh, if I hit, I made the roll. Look at all those dice you roll. I you natural missed. 20, it's a crit. So wow. it took 9 plus 14 damage for a total of 23 points of uh, iron cold damage. He is clearly, he is dead, dead. Whew! Uh, as part of the trick attack, he does get a move as well. You could take that move before or afterwards. So, uh, can he give flanking to somebody? Oh, well, he'll be in trouble with the Screeling, though. He'll move around the Screeling behind him. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Can you, can you do a guarded step for your move action? Uh, yes, I could. Oh, like you can guarded. move yourself right in between purple and blue, and then you'll give um, uh, Nala flank. Or Ilyse. They all look the same to me. Uh, okay. I think I will do that. And that's the end of my turn. All right, trigger up. Trigger is um. Oh, and I take are... I take two bleeding damage. Yes, that big red dot. Is, Got it. Is the pink one is the pink one up there dead or is that one still alive? That one is still alive. He is uninjured. He is uninjured. Is he trying to run away? Not their turn yet. Okay. Um, purple, purple is hurt bad. Um, orange and blue are not as bad, but they are hurt significantly. Not insignificantly. Okay. So, but Nala and I at least you get to go. So I'm going to shift in here. Okay. And I'm going to attack the blue guy. Okay. I'm not going to split up the party chasing the pink guy. We are all like Screeling on top of the Screeling. Mm -hmm. Bite him, Trigger. Give him bleeding damage. No, uh, it's a bat. You'll get Corona. Oh, that's true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, are there any strength, right? So 18. Is it hit? Okay. And hang on, I'm trying to pick up a D4 for the love of God. <laughs> Just don't try to pick it up with your foot. Yeah, exactly. Six points in damage. <laughs> Six to blue, all right. You added your level, plus your level in there, Mikey? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a two, plus four. Blue is now worse than purple, but not by much. They are both pretty badly hurt. Nala, you are up. You have flanking out blue with Ozzy. I'm going to take out blue. Come on, blue. Natural 12. I think I hit with the last one was 11. But you have, plus two. You have a plus two at 14, right? Instead of two for flinching, it's two for flanking. Oh, yeah. 
natural two on the roll for damage. <laughs> okay. Plus your level. Four for my level, minus two for my strength, plus one just cause for melee? No. <laughs> you had one because of your cool move or something like that. Yeah, the, so the rule of cool four. doesn't apply. So it's just plus four for your strength, minus two. I mean, minus two for your strength, plus four for your level. So a net of plus two. So four damage. Yes. And not only... Shard, shard damage. <laughs> Hey, At least you are. Wait, wait, uh, Nala, you haven't moved, used a move, right? So you could perhaps provide an inspiring. Uh, boost to go get the. Wait, uh, is inspiring boost a uh, move as well? Uh, that's a that's a. Uh, is it full? Act? That's full your regular. Oh, okay. All right. Standard sorry, action. Sorry. And nobody got hurt badly this turn. I thought. Oh, I'm down 14. No. Uh, I mean, nobody important got hurt. <laughs> that's true. Badly. Oh. <laughs> He already hit, so all he's got left is get him or move. Yeah. Focus on the purple one. Nala, why are you eating at a time like this? We are in a fight for our lives. <laughs> at least you're up. She has low blood sugar, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> it is important. Take care of self-care. is very important. Self-care. Um... I am going to... Is there... Like, how close to dead is the purple? He's hurt. Almost anything you do will not kill him. Not kill him? Correct. But you have a plus one to hit against him. Plus, plus two. Three. You have flanking and That's right. the... plus three. Use the club. Use your 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 or your, your cold iron. My shard. Your shard. Okay. Use my shard. Kind of lame, whatever. Oh, the natural 16. That is a hit. Yep. Ooh. D4. Did I put it away? I did put it away. Oh, no, I didn't hit last time. <laughs> I didn't get to roll it. One. Add four for your level. Five. And your strength bonus, if you have any. I don't have one. The next shot is likely to take off purple or blue. Oh, good. Oh, it's Screeling's turn. Yeah, great. That's why I wanted to kill it. All right. The pink one flies off. Well, that's not the one that I'm worried about. Orange attacks. Um, Sivian. I thought maybe it was choosing somebody else. As a, man, uh, <laughs> as a 19. <laughs> that is a 19, Chris. 19 hits. All right. D4 plus 4. <laughs> 5 damage. Got it. Um, purple is confused. Oh yeah. The last, the last person to hit, which doesn't you both hit it, so it doesn't matter. Um, but the last person to hit it is the one it targets. So that would be Ilysi. Nine is eighteen. What is your KAC? Oh, oh, that does damage. Okay, my KAC is sixteen. So you are taking... Oh, both my ACs are 16. You're taking 5 damage. And blue will target uh, Nala, who was the last one to hit it. Uh, t 19 against KAC, uh, against KAC, Jeff. Hits. That is, ooh, 8 damage. It's a good sock. Ozzy, take two damage. No, one. you're one damage, right? One so damage, yep. One. That must mean it's my turn. That is correct. There's this thing called the turn order on the left. Hmm. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't move. It's, it's From what I can see, it's ghost's turn. It's right ghost's now. turn. <laughs> All right, Ozzy's just going to do a uh, yeah. regular ass attack on blue. So this is at a plus two. Oh, uh, 15. 15 with flanking, 11 damage. All right, and then Ozzy is going to move. Blue dives. Two, three. Four. Surrounding the Screeling. Wow. Yeah, can we kill that one already? That's All right. Good. Sivian, you're up. There, I'm, I'm using it. I'm using it, Adam. I'm using, nice. I'm moving to the turn order. 
Good job. Look at that. She's on technology. I will say the, the videos I'm watching from that, that video I sent out was pretty good. There's a series there. I've started looking at them. 15 is a hit. Hey, well done, Sivian. Um, but your damage is not correct. You need to roll a D4 plus your level. That's right. Plus your strength. Sivian hit something. He's been pretty good today. Yeah. His strength, so I don't think he's got any strength bonuses, so I think it's just plus four for his level. All right. All right. Have I got that right, Chris? Sivian doesn't have any strength bonuses? Yeah, it's a negative two, so it's just a, uh, it's a four. Ah. Okay. All right, go strip. Uh, trick attack. Oh, I got to click on him. Oops. He stealthily attacks from behind. Is the CR seven or less? I think you said it was. It's three. Okay, so successful uh, trick part of the attack. Then with the cold iron, he stabs stealthily. I see a lot of sixes there. Mm, Six, seven, and eight. He rolled a fourteen, uh, but then plus two for uh, flanking, so a sixteen <laughs> against K. Did you take your bleed damage? Uh, nope. I'm going to take that now. All right, and that is a, as a successful hit. Okay. And how much damage? The damage looks like I rolled max damage on the trick attack. 14 total damage. He is dead. I really wanted to kill that one. Sorry. <laughs> uh, he will also, he still has a move. So he'll move uh, in flanking with the other Screeling to give uh, some assistance to Sivian. Unless you guys really want to fight it out, I'm going to hand wave that last one. Totally cool with that. Um, I might, when it gets to my turn, I could always, um, give somebody an inspiring boost. All right, go ahead and give your inspiring boost, but I'm down to hand wave the rest of the battle. Who wants eight, uh, hit, uh, stamina points? So I'm down 12 stamina points. Is anyone down? You before? had, you had to have taken damage since, uh, the, the beginning of my last turn. That would be me with the bleeding. Oh yeah. And Ozzy, how many stamina are you down? I'm down nine. The pretzels. But so, but he can only do one around. And sure. at this point, if we're if we're dancing, like we can do one. I don't think we can do two. Agrees. I think that's it okay. Be, I can do resolve points. Why don't? Are you, you still gonna? Are yeah, you still gonna be bloody bleeding next round? Yes, but we will not have a significant threat. Like the rules have kind of like. I remember reading the rules around this, and they make it so that you don't. And I just, I just reread it because of it. You oh take yeah. A significant. Uh, so I propose there has to be a significant threat, and if we're any, like standing around yeah. not attacking something, it's not a significant threat. You you must have taken an attack made by a significant enemy at any point after your last turn ended. Oh, I don't think I have. So I don't think either of you. Are. I have. Right. You guys just take a just take a. Um, we take a ten minute rest. Yeah, you take yeah, your your. We, want, yes, we also don't want to blow resolve points if we don't have to. Exactly. True. I, I have a free eight eight stamina points. Uh, maybe can I give it to myself? I don't see why not. The maybe I, I, do that I just because I'm down uh fourteen stamina points. Oh yeah, give it to yourself. How does that damage thing work, Jeff? I barely What's understand. <laughs> Uh, you guys are on your own, is what uh, mm. Nala says. <laughs> uh, Sorry. I'm just looking up Inspiring Boost. It says you could do it for any ally. Oh, so, so it's not... Uh, for so you can't do yourself, then. I don't think you can do yourself, man. I shouldn't have looked this up. I'm sorry. No, you should have looked it up for future. No, I have it right here. So we need to roll, what, a medicine DC 15 for the bleeding? Or heal hit points? If you're going to take a resolve point, you can just take 20 on it. No, no, Chris, but... did you get hit this turn? Uh, he did. I don't remember. I know I'm down 15, but I don't remember if I got hit this turn or not. I don't think I did. No, because I... No. Uh, yeah, I Chris. <laughs> he, hit you, he hit you for 5. He rolled a, a natural 10 yeah. and then rolled a 1 on the die for 5 damage. No, oh, maybe I, he did. I heal Chris. You already healed Chris once, though. Yeah, you already oh, healed me once. That's right. Dude, you can't give this healing away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the healing. 
Will you hit this turn? Yeah. I guess you're going to die, Lisi. Die, Lisi. Eight, eight uh, stamina points. Cool beans. Next up, my go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ozzy, uh, Ghost breaks out a med kit and says, You really should not get hurt like this. You could die someday, you know. And he rolls a 20 on medicine. Your bleeding is stopped. Thank you. Uh, Ozzy's going to... Yeah, I suppose I should restore 9 stamina, shouldn't I? Ozzy's going to take 10 and restore that stamina. Ghost, if I was bleeding, would you use your first aid kit on me? That is dependent on whether or not you could kill more bad guys for me. He does a good job of killing people. Thank you, Ghost. I killed Tahoman. Uh, You notice that... I'm going to fix you! Ghost is still bleeding. I got gotcha. you. Because I am a nice Lashunta. You're talking too much. Chris already did it. Oh. <laughs> ah, thank you, Bugman. That is better. Ooh, I will have a scar from this, maybe. Maybe no. That is good work. Where did yeah, you yeah. Totally appreciate the help over here with this orange guy. Where did you do your medical oh, wait, training? Ghost. Uh, oh. Online course. Why not? Online Invis- course? Invis- you Invis- did not go to a school for this? <laughs> no, man. This is all online learning. But uh, honestly, just never finished it. Next time, Trigger heals me. That is not good. Uh, I will sue you for <laughs> medical malpractice if you mess something up. You do not get these looks naturally. That is what I'm saying. One one thing, Ghost. Yeah, you got them from Diamond. Chicks dig scars. Oh. No, we don't. Josh, I just sent, sent you something on Discord that I think will help you. No, I'm gonna take, me. I'm gonna you take a quick look me. around to see if there's anything that we're missing. Adam, how do I see it? I don't see. It. You know, on the left side, there should be my my, my mustache in a circle. Yeah. <laughs> Click on that. Yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, off the top, I see it now. I got gotcha. you. By my mustache. Uh. If you add that to the end of all your macros, you'll get to be able to put in a static, and it'll oh, fall to zero. Okay. I I thought you were going to say if you get your own mustache, you'd be. A- <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it'll take him like three days. I'm not going to put give him that challenge. I was going to say if I don't shave for another two days, I'll have a mustache. <laughs> it'll be thicker and more luxurious. I'm not getting Jeff's mm-hmm. face. That's not nice. <laughs> oh. By the way, this is I. Micro- does this microphone look like a Hitler mustache on me? It does. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it looks like a Michael Jordan's Haynes commercial mustache. Mm. No. <laughs> you look more like Chaplin when you when you do that. Let's go Chaplin. Yeah, there, <laughs> right. there you go. That's better. Uh, I definitely see, really uh, just a note for you for your nanite attack. Uh, mm-hmm. Touch attack goes against EAC, so it is a little okay. easier to hit than armor class. So keep that in mind for the future. And Josh, I did a perception check just to see if there's anything else, shards of anything that we're missing. Uh, no. So, well, we came in here for nothing, is what we're saying. No way. E XP. XP. I'm sorry. Um, actually, you you did find. Um, is that a pretzel rod? I'm yes. so jealous. The, the, scree- the Screelings had cred sticks on them. Cause the- nice. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> but you don't want to know where they were hiding them. Right. That's a rod, there's suckers. A, there's a dead body here with uh, a cred stick with 2,000 credits on it. Oh, with 2,000? Wow. Yeah. Must have been from the last guy that the Screelings killed. If only that could be evenly divided amongst six people. <laughs> There'll be more credits coming. All right. What are the chances that a creature would live on this asteroid that is vulnerable to this very material? That is strange. That is like going to a brick house and finding all the people living in the brick house are susceptible to red brick. That is really something. Isn't everyone susceptible to red brick? If you had gone to throw it up, you would have lost the iron. If you hit them hard enough. What was that, Josh? The cold iron is only on the higher route, so you wouldn't have found it otherwise. Uh, you would have gone for it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, where are you going next? Somewhere without any screenings. Yeah. 
I sure really wish there was a way we could detect the Screelings in the future, Can or any other creatures buried in the ground. So, so if you could look out. north for, do you think there's a cave up north, or do you do you think we could show west towards that greenish thing? I think I see maybe in the distance. I like the green area. I'm trying to look for the cave entrance on the map, and I don't see it. I just see that pile of bodies in the southwest. Oh, what's up with that? And Nala's got a good point. With what's the green thing over to the west? Let us check the bodies. If there are bodies, maybe there is loot. Maybe there is treasure. All right. Ghost, ghost votes bodies. What do you think, Captain? Mate, why am I in front? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Bug's not allowed to be in front. He's too small. No. Oh boy. I definitely think we need to investigate the bodies. Okay. Is that the? Uh, yeah. All yeah. right. So you you find a large collection of bodies here. Um, let's see the description for that. Each one has a cred stick with twenty with two hundred thousand credits. Yes. On. Yes. <laughs> This expansion of alcove is devoid of the silvery ash that's prevalent elsewhere on the asteroid, but it has the appearance of a gruesome graveyard. Several discarded corpses lie here, some that look just a few days old and some that are rotting with the telltale signs of weeks, if not months, of decay. Actually, uh, because I changed the module, there are no recently dead ones. They're all really dead. Oh, okay. Also, Saki, search the bodies. Everybody else, look, look around the area, prepare for anything. Ghost looks very happy. He looks in his element. He likes searching bodies. I throw out a little check around to see if I could see anything with uh, my perception and blind sense. That's good. Yeah, totally, because I mean, how does this area not have the same silvery powder that everywhere else seems to? It's a freaking asteroid, I mean. Hmm. Of course, this is the only area that has dead bodies, and there's no dead bodies anyplace else. Go. Right, as you guys sort through the bodies, yes, Trigger. You find. I was gonna say, so when I almost shard myself, it actually turned out that I had a case of asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger, I have always said that you have a huge asteroid. It is tremendously big. That's what she said too. Sorry, Josh. Please. As you search the bodies, you find a. One has an onyx and ruby ankle bracelet worth 1150 credits. Oh, cool. I put that on. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I'm going to I'm going to ste step up here and say something like jewelry. I don't know what what does the rule say for selling that? Is that 10% as well? There are certain there kinds of goods that have their full price. I'll uh, look it up. I heard jewelry was 200%. <laughs> um, and there's also a um, there's one robe and who rolled the highest? Was it Sivian? Yeah. 22. Yeah. Yeah. Sivian finds a robe um, with, this, with a secret pocket or, uh, sewn into it and inside there's a glove of storing. A glove of storing? Yes, as well as a collection of several credit sticks holding a total of 800 credits. And I wonder how much the GM is sorry that I'm actually role playing. <laughs> what? Actually role playing. I'm gonna need you all to role play in a little while. In the dark. In the dark. Dun, dun, dun. Just tie a rope to each other. <laughs> no, we don't do ropes. So, hey, <laughs> no, Chris, whatever you and your wife do in the bedroom is you yeah. don't have to bring that. Do ropes. That is that is a that is the hard earned lesson, my. <laughs> We just don't do ropes. It just doesn't work out. <laughs> as long as there's no, as long as we're not climbing in the dark, I think we should be it, fine. It, no, it doesn't matter. Ropes doesn't matter what campaign doesn't matter as long as it's this group. Ropes just don't work. So I've got the definition on glove of storing. You guys are gonna have to decide who wants it. The well, we're gonna have to do a perception check to see if anybody knows or a culture check, right? What to identify it? Yeah, we just don't know what it is. Yeah, we do. Oh, we do, of course. Go ahead. What is it? This simple <laughs> glove is surprisingly smooth to the touch. While holding an item no larger than two bulk in your hand and wearing it, 
you can command a glove of storing to shrink the held item to a microscopic size in a negligible bulk and merge it with the palm of the glove. Returning that item to its original scale requires a mere snap of the fingers while wearing the glove. You can store or retrieve an item with the glove of storing as a swift or as a move action. A glove of storing can store only one item at a time, and if the glove's effect is suppressed or dispelled, any stored item immediately returns to its original size. A bazooka! Yes, you could snap your fingers and make a bazooka appear in your hand. That's exactly right. It would seem that the Yusoki already have this in their cheek pouches, so they're probably not <laughs> as appropriate candidates as everybody else. Our cheek yeah, pouches yeah, yeah. don't hold that much, but agree that we would not get as much benefit from this as other people in the group. Well, they, they have, it's one one bulk, right? In the cheek pouches, That's this right. is two bulk? This holds two bulk. <laughs> So a sniper rifle, a heavy assault rifle, like this could be good for you, Ozzy, to immediately call a heavy weapon into your hand. Oh, your cannon out. Yeah, I've already got the um, the quick release uh, mm. sheath, though. That's true. Okay. So, you know, similar, mechanically very similar. But also uh, keep in mind there's a stealth component. It lets you hide stuff. You can bring a heavy weapon into a club and nobody's going to know because it's microscopic. Hope you don't have to scratch your butt with it on. <laughs> so, uh, does anybody have a Actually, th desire? this is probably a bad time for me to mention that, uh, uh, unfortunately, Ozzy doesn't know how to snap his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is I'm going to make a puzzle where everybody has to snap. Is a Vresk like a Simpsons character? They've only got like four fingers. Like that's why they can't snap. <laughs> but like no, Vesks can snap. He just he just doesn't know how to do it. Just never learned. Here, like listen. <laughs> like, oh, that's so. That's sad. the best he can do. His fingers just don't snap. That's so sad. Wow. I think that's something that he and Lisi are gonna have to spend some time working on next time we spend a couple days on the ship. I have this entire flashback image now of like Ozzy the Vesk growing up, going to yes. like military school, and all the commanders make you snap to order you where to go, and he could never rise to leadership because he couldn't snap. <laughs> and then there was like national and regional snapping championships, and he was always on the bench. <laughs> but he was like Rudy, you know, he never gave up. He always showed up for practices. He just never could make the snapping sound. And they let him on the team, even though he couldn't snap. And at the end, they had the championship game, and everybody got injured, and it was up to it was up to Ozzy. Like I can see all this. That's part of your backstory now. It was part of West Side Story. <laughs> he went out for West Side Story, but couldn't do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Chris. That's good. That was really funny, Chris. Uh, who's taking Who's taking the glove? I don't. I don't need it. But. I don't need it. Well, then I'm taking it. I'll throw a sniper rifle in it if nobody else wants it. <laughs> Surely somebody's got a use for it. I don't have a use for it. Stop no, calling me Shirley. Sure. Have a use for it. Yeah. I use. I use my magic in my brains. Mm. Yeah, me and too. And a giant sword. All right, my di my dueling tactical sword. sword. It would be good. It would be good to hide like a nice. <laughs> Trigger, you got long arms, right? Wait, can you put can you put our magic item in that? There are yeah. our McGufflin, McGuff, McGuff. Oh, McGuffin. You can't put if you try to put the null space thing there. It's like putting a bag of holding in a full level boat. <laughs> Just don't go there. We should definitely do that. That's a full level hole, hole, whatever it is. We could build a robot, put it on the asteroid, and then get like a light year away from the asteroid, and then order the robot to to put the bag of the null space in the glove of storing. That'd be fantastic. But Chris, you you meant the uh, the MacGuffin, right? The uh, the MacGuffin, yes. The energy crystal of the stellar degenerator. Yes. yes. You well, can hide it. Let's see. Yeah. Ghost takes the the glove. Who's got the Who's got the energetic crystal? Can I see oh, it? You left it with the goblins? What did you say, Josh? <laughs> you left it with the goblins? On the ship? <laughs> Nobody chimed in to having it. We, we wanted it to be safe, so we left it on the ship. Oh, Josh, it 
you, you locked it in the safe on the ship. Yeah. The captain's safe. <laughs> Alicia, you do not have it right now in your null space, no? Oh, I forgot that I was in charge of that. Um, no, we left it in the safe. You Unless know, it's more convenient for us to have it, then we have it. I think we have <laughs> just doomed the universe to death in the... We do not deserve to live if we were that stupid. <laughs> Alright, it's your null space chamber. It's there. Alright, we try putting it on the gloves. Oh, I doesn't think that I deserve to live. Sure, it goes in glove. It snaps the, the glove finger. One item. Right. Snaps the finger. Does it disappear? Yes. Oh, this is cool. Who wants to keep the glove to protect from the bad guys? I think I would be good at protecting things. <laughs> I, I agree, Ozzy should probably have it. Nobody would mess with his Michael Jackson glove. Is it white? <laughs> I think, yes, if you get the dust off, it is very white. Look, it's glittery and white. Come on. Here you go. You are bad, Ozzy. You are bad. <laughs> Here. Don't if, don't eat it. If I ain't bad, man, you ain't nothing. <laughs> you ain't nothing. <laughs> Look, it does not matter if it is black or white. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're uh, having you know, research. If you want to make this universe a better place, look at yourself and make the change. <laughs> Ozzy, are you okay? <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, I'm fine. Are you okay? Are you okay, Ozzy? Oh, I. Uh... Ozzy, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jules, well done. Well done, Jules. <laughs> I give, you, I give you one of my bennies. Yeah. <laughs> she already has two. Oh, okay. you, you did get a third, Bob. So, all right, you 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 you've scoured through the uh, the corpses. Uh, since they're all well rotted, they're only scary instead of just gross. Oh, do they look like regular uh, people? Do they look like? Is there anything interesting about them? Are they same race? Are they all human? What about their clothing? Why don't you give me a culture check? Yeah, culture check. We'll see. Well, culture is my jam. I rolled a natural two. Now a culture check. Thirteen. I rolled a thirteen. I think I have a good I rolled culture. Well, hang on a sec. I wonder what that's like. Twenty-eight. Oh, now we're talking. Nala recognizes that these are. Um, Different um, varieties of undead, probably corpse fleet. Oh, that's bad. Hmm. No problems here. The Oxian. <laughs> I recently learned their language, and I see some of the uh, writing on the uh, uniforms as Eoxian. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get one to babble. That creates an interesting question. How, how long, how far back can your speak with undead go? Speak with dead go. Uh, what is Babel? Which, which, which dead, which death are we talking about, though? Too. It's, That's it's, what I'm talking about. It's called grave words, right? So let's see. Grave. Is it a spell, Chris? Yeah. It's a cantrip, level zero. Force a corpse to babble, and it is. Uh, you can force a corpse to talk, but you can't ask it a specific question or communicate. The corpse utters random sentences for one round with a 10% chance this information is of some use to you. Useful information might include warnings about dangers, uh, blah, 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 blah. The GM makes a D% percent roll in secret and decides what information is useful or not. All right, so you're using your thing. You got it. I don't even care to roll, but I will. Ralph William. All right, the uh, the thing it starts babbling. Um, three, Josh, a three quarters of your um, uh, sayings could be from Ralph Wiggum right now. Just know that. <laughs> <laughs> my cat's breath smells like cat food. <laughs> okay. met my Wookie. <laughs> no, it actually starts to babble, and it starts babbling about must protect the master. Must protect the master. We can't speak to it. No. Well, that's inconvenient. I mean, you can. 
but it's not going to do anything. <laughs> hey, that was a cool party trick, huh, guys? What did you do to it? <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could do it. I always wanted to. That was that was kind of creepy, man. That was very that was scary. So Ooh, what? That was not cool. I did not like that. Oh, oh I have a shiver in my spacesuit. Oh. He was dead, it... and then he was undead, and then he was dead, and now you're like, hey, I want to see if the party trick works. <laughs> and you got lucky, and apparently he must protect the master, whatever the heck that is. We should probably figure that out. I do not uh, like this place. This is not a good place. Does no, anybody I think get the feeling we've already met the master? Oh, the ambassador? You are speaking of the ambassador? Possibly. I do not like that guy. I do. Okay, you guys keep talking about that guy. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of Pete very quick. Oh, okay. We were kind of done, but... Yeah, I know, but you ran out long enough that I couldn't get to the next step, so... I feel... I do not have a good feeling about this asteroid. I feel like... Like one of us is going to die here. Oh. I think it's gonna be the bug. Yes, I think you are right. Uh, like, are you guys doing that telepathically? Because I can hear you. No, no, I'm talking about you right now. <laughs> I am, I am taking his sword when he dies. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, well, that's all right. You guys can split up whatever I have. Really? You don't care? You are just cool with that? I want his money. I'm already ready to die, but you have to take care of the baby. The Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait now, what? You have a baby? Well, you know, it's just gestating, so it's got another two years to go on it, but yeah. What? What sort of Her responsible parent are friend. you? You are walking around with these dead bodies and you have a baby on the way? Don't you know you need to care for these things? What are you doing out here with all the danger? Well, if I go, <laughs> can you can you put can you put something in your pouch and keep it warm? What? I am I am not taking care of your bug baby. How many babies do you have at once? Do you have like a thousand or a little larva maggots right now? What is it's this? It's just it's just a little maggot, man. What the uh that is very irresponsible parenting is what I am saying right now. I thought I saw you drinking a beer last night. You're drinking <laughs> alcohol. Why would you do that to your baby? The little the little maggot loves it, man. Uh I don't know where anyone. Okay. All right. So, mm, you guys see that screeling that blew away? Lands at the top of that peak on the the corner there to your north. <clears throat> Snipe it. Do we observe it? Do we see it? You see it? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. Uh, taking out the sniper rifle, and I'll take a shot. Okay. I'll I'll let you all time your shot at the same time. If you can kill it all in one turn, you kill it. But you all have to hit and do your damage. And it still gets its damage reduction. Okay. Don't even Shooting need the sniper it. rifle. I'll just do regular trick attack. You know I'm going to miss, guys. My fancy liquidator just enter crystal. Wait, uh, let Ghost go first. No, you all go. <laughs> all go at the same time, Bob. Well, somebody's got to hit first, right? No, we're counting down. So three, two, one. Fire, and we all shoot at the same time. The point is, if, you, if one of you shoots first, it gets away. After it hit, it gets good. Okay. So everybody tell me the EAC is 14. Tell me if you hit. Uh, I rolled a 12. 12. I rolled a 12, but I succeeded on the trick attack, which turns that into a 14. So I did 12 okay. fire. We all have to hit. At this point, it doesn't matter that I hit, so... Well, no. attack on the damage. If it attacks us later, it'll be that much more weak. Yeah. Um, okay, hold on. Twelve points of damage. I get it flies off. It is watching us. I do not like this place. 
Uh, Josh, well, you missed it when you stepped away. We we found out that Sivian is pregnant. I heard. Oh, okay. okay. All right. What's your next step here, guys? Let's go to the green oasis. Green oasis? What are you talking about? Green yeah, we oasis? Were up in the upper right corner, there's like a green pool of some sort. Yes. Upper left. Upper left. Yeah, upper there's right, a. The other, the other right. <laughs> ghost grabs the, the heel. Gra ghost grabs the heel of one of the corpses, and as they walk through the sands, he drags it behind him, leaving a trail of a dead man's body as they walk northwestward. What's your strength? Uh, se seven. <laughs> <laughs> ghost is exhausted. <laughs> uh, uh, a little help here. Uh, Even in the light gravity, Ghost is struggling. Uh, Ghost, why are you dragging the body? It, what? I want to throw it into the green, whatever the green is. I want, don't you want to throw it in there? See what happens. Okay. Could you just okay, then you can drag it now. I have dragged I help, it enough. I help, I help Ghost drag the body. Whoa, you guys writing that down? <laughs> I just wrote I know, that right? <clears throat> I'm having an influence on Alicia, I think. All right, what's the order going into the area here? Ghost and I are going first. No, no, I think Ozzy. <laughs> behind Ozzy. And then we'll be behind Ozzy. That a, okay, Ozzy. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go in first this time. All right, Alicia and Ghost. Now are you yeah, over here somewhere? Yeah, I'm gonna stop volunteering myself to go into these places first. So. Sivian, trigger that about right, guys? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Looks good. And a body. As we're as we're walking up, I turn to the bug man. I'm like, bug man, next time you stay with me. Don't go in by yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a wise idea from now on. Yeah, to yeah, totally, dude. And then maybe we can hang ten later. For sure. He he. I just want to say he means hang ten people to death. That is what he <laughs> means. <laughs> yes, that's that correct. It's all about killing people, you little dudes, man. I thought you guys were like the cool little fuzzies, like oh, third degree, we're, third we're degree totally Disney. Cool fuzzies until you piss us off. That is right. Then you shall never see fury like the fuzzy scorned. <laughs> you know, you know. Back in in uh, a couple thousand years ago, there was a movie called Gremlins. You ever see that movie? Uh. No, but it sounds pretty cool. You should totally get it when you get back to the library, dude. Like, for sure and stuff. Um, I think that's the way they talked back then. <laughs> <laughs> also, a pro tip, never get ghost wet after midnight. I just <laughs> want to say. Okay, so what do we see? Hold on, I'm trying to... Uh... Oh, okay. If the, if the screeling is there again, they're going to take a pot shot at the screeling, by the way. I'm set, I sent somebody a whisper, and I'm waiting for a response. Ah. Okay. Ollie. Hang on. And I would hope it's whispered back. I did not get a whisper, so it's not. I, I did it. did it. did it. Oh, that's not a whisper. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my dog just said. Yeah, so they're there. <laughs> Ozzy just strangely walks right to the pool's edge. Uh, dude, you don't want to go in there. Uh, wait, this ice, what pool? This, I'm sorry, did I miss a description? This, this green is a pool. I'm getting there. Up north. Oh, okay. This wow. isolated grotto is dotted with piles of silvery ash to the northwest, a low shelf of rock. Dams a pool of thick greenish liquid. A humanoid body in torn robes with one arm chewed off is ominously propped against the ledge, and now Ozzy stands next to it. Hey, lizard man, what are you doing? Ozzy, come back! Ozzy does not respond. What if I do it telepathically? Trigger, Trigger, we need to get him. I don't know. Is he. Ozzy, it was nice to know. my mind. I say, Ozzy, come back! Hold on, this is what, go this is what Trigger does. Uh, does Ozzy look 
uh, like he's unusual, different in any way, eyes closed or open or anything? Um, slightly like glazed. Trancy? Slightly glazed. Huh. So, so I look like Sivian. <laughs> Correct. Uh, Ghost is worried, but he's not too worried. But he's going to get a little closer in case there's some action, because the big guy is the one who keeps him from getting into trouble. So he's going to move to about here. You leave the body behind that you were dragging? Yeah, just for a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ghost. All right. Ditch the body. All right, let's roll for initiative as a creature erupts out of the um, the the pool. Hold on a second. I gotta change his layer so you can see him. Uh, he's now a token layer. Whoa! Is this screeling something that's gonna be bothering us, or is that just you don't? Well, wait and see. It works so much better if you guys let me add the characters characters to the uh All right. All right, so I need to add everybody. Add a turn. Everybody goes in there. Ghost should be in there twice. Sorry about that. I will wait next no, time. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, it's easy to add. It's easy to remove one. All right. That. This is goes on the right. I'll zoom in a little so I can see better. Chris, next time you roll initiative, click on your token and then click the initiative button. My token being the guy on the board? Yeah, the bug headed guy. Alright. Roll my two. Ty rolled mine. Oh, oh. Screech Sire got an actual 20. 26? Oh. Nala, well done. Good. Good. For the record. The I, w I was going to roll, I rolled a 1, and then Ty I was like, you know what, let me have Ty roll. He rolled a natural 20. <laughs> yeah, I, it sucks. I have this awesome creature. I get plus 4 to a knit. I roll a natural 20, and I still only get a 24. Okay, you're doing better than my 4. <laughs> most I of, also rolled a 4. Most uh, of the party rolled poorly. Trigger, sure, what do you got? Um, 17. All right. Sending order. So Nala, you are up first. All right. So, can you describe this character to me one more time? Well, it's pretty much the scariest thing I've ever seen. Just zoom in on the picture. Or oh, by the scree. Scr this is a scree sire. sire. The other one was a screeling. Sires, lings, get it. Any mysticism checks to give us more information on the nature you of the try. You could try. You could try. Sounds like we should try. Yes, yes it does. 21. A natural one. Mm. Uh, 25. 22 on culture. <laughs> uh, both, both 21s and 25s recognize that this is a, uh, a large... Aberration. It certainly um, is the parent, for lack of a better term, of the screelings, Devlikes. which it inseminates. It actually inseminates creatures with its um, offspring. You just keep wanting to get us pregnant. <laughs> I Why do. Why do you want us to be pregnant so badly? I do. I don't. The module does. <laughs> Sivian's already pregnant. Can he be pregnant again? Does it have Can any they... uh, weaknesses that we're aware of? Yes, iron. Yeah, uh, it, has, it has the same the same as its children. And do we know anything about its attacks? No, you didn't roll that well. All right, it hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, so Nala's up first. Uh, who's up? Oh, the screws is up next, huh? I don't know, guy. Yeah, uh... How do I do the, um, my distance? On the left-hand icon, uh, four down from the top is a circle with a ruler. Click on the circle with the ruler icon. At that point, you're now in distance measuring mode. Then you can go onto the map and click and drag. And a reminder that to go back to moving your character, you have to click on the arrow to go back. Otherwise, you're stuck in ruler mode. That's 50 feet away. That's far. It is. Not from a weapon, though. Not from a ranged weapon. 
Although it'll, I assume it has damage resistance. What's my normal speed, Joshy? I don't know. What is your normal speed, Jeff? <laughs> it's it's in the speed part of your character sheet. Thank you, Adam. Uh, I got my age, my height, and my weight. That's useful. It's probably 30. Uh, probably 30, right? Jeff, you'll know this is the same glass of scotch I started with at 730. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Jeff says this is the same bottle of scotch he started with. <laughs> <laughs> nice way. Just now it's empty. Like you get another one right now. No, no, wish I could say that. They <laughs> <laughs> just lost a die. No, let's still in the okay. lap. All right, so Nala. Nala is. I think she said Nala delays, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Nala delays, I believe. Okay, now all delays. When you when you act, you will move to that part of the turn order permanently for this encounter. Okay. The Scree Sire is going to attempt to let me get the right term here. Reposition. Um oh. Ozzy. So I need to exceed your KAC plus eight. Good luck with that. Yeah. He's got a good KAC. It's his I don't know status. if you can. Swing your hands. Depends on what your bonus is. I don't know what bonus I do. I get a bonus. So well, this is a. Attack. This is a. Yeah, it's just a. It's a melee attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get my regular melee bonus. Exactly. Yeah. What is your KAC? Twenty-three. Oh, you shouldn't have told him that. You should have. Just I know. Roll. Last time I did this. <laughs> Tell you, I get a plus fifteen. Oh, Jesus boy. Christ! So hang on, what's the number that you, if your KAC plus eight, you said twenty three? Doesn't matter. Roll the nineteen. Thirty one is the number to beat. Yeah, nineteen plus fifteen is going to beat thirty one. Ozzy is repositioned. Hey, 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 easy, buddy. Into the pool of acid. What the pool of the pool of what now? Acid. Oh boy. That's bad for Ozzy. Uh, you have no idea. Hold on. You could Black reposition me. No, wait. You can. You could reposition me by ten, by two squares. I don't know if you did that or not. Um. Yeah. I, you. It's hard to. See. You were here, so I called you one, two. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Um, wait, whose so, idea was it to go to the green pool? <laughs> Ozzy wanted to go for a swim. <laughs> Ozzy is completely submerged in the acid and on his and is going to take Ooh. Also am I still dominated? No, now that you're in, in now that you've been uh, exposed to life threatening well, situation. That's good. What's the damage for being submerged in acid? It can't be good. What? How many die are that? Ten D six? Thirty four? Yeah. Whoa. That's uh I'm now down down two hit points from Max. Holy moly. I think that Ozzy may need to be inspired <laughs> very soon. All right. Are you in are you in hit points by now? He's in Yeah. He's yeah, in that took points. off two hit points. It destroyed all of his stamina and two hit points. Alright, the Scree Sire's turn is over. Oh man. Um the Screeling will swoop down and attack Ghost. D20 with its uh, claw attack. Actually, do I take that damage now and at the beginning of my turn? No, your turn you can get out. You always tell you on his turn, he inflicted it on you. That fair? I just want to make sure we're doing it the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, you take it immediately. Just like he hit you. Okay. Um, uh, 19 versus uh, KAC, Bob? Uh, KAC is equal to 20. That is just missing. All right. Uh, trigger, you are up. I'm going to jump back in. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is change your... Uh, or 
are you? Now I'm going to change you to 20. Or 17.1 would be a bad trigger. Uh, you, you can go right in after the screening, too. Oh, that's I'm, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Descending. Nala. I am moving 30 feet and, and giving an inspiring boost. <laughs> Come on, you got to Ozzy. <laughs> and your French accent. Ozzy? <laughs> the acid is not as bad as you think. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it's pretty freaking bad. <laughs> it is. It is much worse. It. It is much much worse. <laughs> you get a whole eight stamina points back. <laughs> Did you roll? Well, my stamina up to eight for now. Jeff, do you roll for that? No, it's a static uh, level okay. plus charisma. Okay. I could have sworn you were giving out tens before. All right, so um, Nala went trigger. You were up. Uh, uh, hang on, hang nope. on. It is uh twelve uh points. It's twice your envoy level. You're right, uh, Adam. Thank you for that. Then that brings you up to twelve. Here you go. All right, so um, Ghost is gonna move up next to oops. Ghost is gonna move up next to Nala. Go ahead and move. Huh? Let's go ahead and move. I said. Okay. Yep. And then he is going to what's, say. What's your moment? Oh, well, uh, what is my... Uh, 30 feet. So you need to move on the other side of Nala. Okay, that's good. Who's over here. Who's over there, better? Or, or, or below. You can go south. If you go okay. south, you, you have an uninterrupted shot. Yeah, that's a better choice. Okay. Uh, and then... Or, or directly between me and the... <laughs> <laughs> this and then is Ghost hard. is... Ozzy! It is definitely as bad as you think it is, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Ghost is going to... Um, uh, you know what? I'm done with these fucking grenades. They're useless as tits. And um, <laughs> <laughs> totally. Uh, he's going to shoot him with his laser rifle. Or shoot so at him. So just as a, a side bit, you have the shear and eye rifle, which you have to, it takes a turn to load. I assume you have it loaded, so you could fire that for your first turn, then move to your laser rifle your second turn. Oh, okay. All right, then let's do that. That makes sense, Bob? Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. That, that does 1d10, right? That's more damage. Yeah, then drop it and then pick up. Okay. Nice tip. All right. <laughs> the old New York reload. Yep. Uh, all right, so natural 18... Um, plus four, five, so 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. That, 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 that does not hit. hit. Was that? That does not hit. Oh, that is a hit. Oh, that is it. Okay. Sorry. All right. And then 10, natural 10. All right. He shakes off some of it. About half of but it. Does take, yeah, about half of it. <laughs> <laughs> like exactly half of it. <laughs> All right. Ghost. Oh, Ghost is torn. Does he kill or does he try to help the lizard man? The lizard man. Lizard man. No, I was going to say, don't kill Ozzy. He has a chance to get out. <laughs> <laughs> He, he looks again at the screen. No, no, seriously, Trigger specifically says that. <laughs> Wait, what, is, what is, if Trigger tells Ghost to do something, he does it. What's the instruction? No, he says, definitely do not kill Ozzy. He has a chance to get out. Actually, you don't want to kill me in the acid, because then all my loot would go into the acid. Yeah. Ah, that's a good point. 
Uh, keeping that in mind, then, uh, Trigger does two things. First, he uses his standard action. He presses a button on his wrist, and uh, the air in front of Trigger of Ghost seems to waver for a bit. And... Suddenly, one, ghost. one other ghost appears. So now there's two ghosts standing where there was one. That's a standard action. He's got a move left. Uh, with his move action, he uh, throws a rope, uh, a metal cable rope, to Ozzy. Lizard Man, get these! Thought we said we weren't doing ropes. <laughs> it's not a rope, it's a cable. <laughs> Ooh, that could be new rules for you guys. <laughs> I at least you're up. Yeah, cables are completely different than rope. They're well, either or anything in the same way, or, you know. You can't grip that cable at all. Have you, have you ever heard of the X-Men from the future named Rope? <laughs> what are you guys going to possibly anchor that to? Gonna, uh, to Nala. He's going to need okay. other people to grab the rope, uh, the cable, because I don't... Yeah. Yes. He, he, he can climb out of the pool. I said that. He can climb out of the pool on his own. He doesn't need the rope. Okay, I'm going to shoot the Screeling. Well, I'm going to attempt to shoot the Screeling with my Liquidator Disintegrator pistol. Oh, okay, remember, yeah. it's still damage reduction 5. Does and nature? You can move over there with your and use your um, iron, cold iron slashing tool weapon too. Yeah, but I'll get more damage for using my pistol. Minus five. Your pistol is minus five though, because of damage reduction. Yeah, but it's one d ten. Right. So if you roll one through five, nothing happens. Where with the clut with the slashing weapon, regardless, you always did damage. Then I guess I'll do that. You have to move the other closer. Okay, then I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> get that close to it. Then shoot it. I'm it's gonna shoot it. Go ahead. <laughs> Stop telling me what to do. Oh, well, I rolled geez. an eight. What's your my, bonus? My base attack bonus is three. So it's eleven. Wow. That is a miss. That's a miss anyway. See, that is it doesn't a miss. matter. <laughs> all right. You moving at all? You moving back? Um, <laughs> no. Okay. Sivian. All right, Sivian's gonna well move to get into a little bit better distance, right about there, and then it's gonna look at the Screeshire and it's gonna attack its mind with its mind thrust. <laughs> and where to go? So I get a will save for this. You get a will save. <laughs> My force save is plus six. My reflex save is plus six. My will save. Plus 12. Oh, nuts. <laughs> What'd you roll for damage? It's coming. <laughs> it's still going. What was your D10? Oh. Oh, that's respectable. All right, and what's what's my saving? What's the save I got to make? It's a will save, and what is it? DC 14, I think I have. So you need a two or better. Good luck. Oh, he oh, saw the that was so close. That was so close. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so um, the psychic. Do I do I still do the damage reduction on psychic? We don't know because we don't know the rules of how the creature works. No, the damage job. reduction is, is, is a is a is a simple. It's a rule in the book. I looked it up and I forget it. That's it depends on what you get damage reduction against. Dam no, it's it's damage reduction is against. Um, what's what I'm looking for? It's page two sixty three for those who have the book handy. But, um, what what it, damage reduction? It depends. Like you usually get damage reduction against certain types of damage, or or everything but certain types of damage. I found so, it. I found it. Damage reduction applies to kinetic damage. Any bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage that a character takes. Regardless of the source, it does not apply against damage with no damage type or any other damage type, including acid, cold, electricity, fire, or sonic. Are those? All right, so your, I had that entirely guns, wrong. I apologize. So your laser guns are actually fully effective. That is my bad. Oh, and your. So does that mean that we could have killed the screeling? Uh, the screen. Actually, I will take ten points off the screeling. So your disintegrator pistol might be pretty good. 
Yes. Yeah. As long as your rolls don't suck. <laughs> hey, uh, you don't get to make comments about that. Okay, the Screeling is in much worse condition now. Uh, and just to confirm, Josh, they don't have energy resistance, right? Because Correct, it's ER5. Yeah. Got it. So that's my bad for misunderstanding it, or actually no not. I misread it. So, all right. Good uh, job, Bob. So, Sivian, well, I asked the question. Nobody. <laughs> it's <laughs> that's true. true. He did ask, he the, did ask the question. We, we didn't know. No. You could have just made the creature more tougher than it should have been, and we would never oh, know. Oh, so, Sivian Sivian did um, half damage. He had rolled 19. I made my will save. So by rolling 13. Six. So, I take um, 9. Wait, why do you take 9 out of 13? Uh, 9 out of 19. 19. Oh, 9 out of, okay. That was still a good blast. All right. Ozzy! All right, what... Uh, what where... What, 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 what does it take... Sorry, I'm talking through a cat. What does it take to move... Uh, it's just considered difficult terrain. Oh, that's like half. Like yes. 25 feet. And do I have to, like, climb up over the lip of that? Like, where can I move to if I have two... That, we call that two squares, four squares, six squares. Okay, I have five squares of movement, and you said that I have difficult terrain. So you're stuck there, probably, I guess. Uh, but you are uh, on. I have one other option for you, Ozzy. We're in low gravity environment, which means your jumps are three times the distance. So what's your athletic you jump? Jumping? Just going straight up, 30 you could, feet. You could hulk it, maybe. If you're chilling in a swimming pool and your feet can't touch the ground, how are you supposed to jump? His feet touch the ground. Oh. I, th I was oh. assuming his feet touch the ground. I don't know why I was assuming they weren't. I did because the acid did so much damage, I must have been completely immersed. I want to, with my shard in hand, jump out of the pool and land on the back of the scree sire. All right. Ooh. With my daggers. No, I meant... <laughs> <laughs> I will give you um, plus two to hit for for rule of cool, and I'll give you plus four on your damage. Are you okay. using your cold iron item then? Oh, definitely using the cold iron item. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna come down in a, in a in a stabbing motion as I land, so it's all gonna be part of the same same same. All right. So that's a twenty three is the standard plus two. Okay, you see, is a hit, twelve and damage plus your plus what I say. Next plus two for rule of cool is uh, fourteen. All right, fourteen, and he takes all of that. And he says, uh, "Yeah!" <laughs> he does not stay on the back of it, <laughs> unless you want to. You want to try to stay on? I, yeah, I'm holding on with one hand. I, I, it's a one-handed weapon. I got a free, free hand. <laughs> all right. So we'll have an athletics check when the time comes for that. Oh, look, it's time for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's call that... Uh, oh, boy. I hope it doesn't throw me into the acid. <laughs> <laughs> a post strength check. If you roll... If I beat you by more than 10, you go back in the acid. All right. How, does, how do we do a strength check? It's just strength D20 plus strength modifier? You're athletics. It's a post athletics check. Oh, okay. You said I thought I heard strength. Yeah, I said strength. I'm at athletics. So I beat you by more than ten. You're back in the acid. Son oh, of a bitch. oh man. Thirty nine. Twenty nine. <laughs> Not more than ten. <laughs> that is what he said. That's amazing. Wow. That is exactly what I said. Oh man. Wow. You stump, you tumble off and land on this side. How's that? <laughs> okay. Do I take any damage from the fall? No. Okay. Low gravity environment. Uh, I will oh, say yeah, that's, that's right. His, I will say that's his move action, though, not his his standard action. I think it should be his standard action. I think it should totally be a standard action, but I'm not going to cry about it. I have a quick question. <laughs> so, Adam, how many health do you have left right now? Total health, I have uh, 44. So it wouldn't have killed me necessarily. Oh, it could have killed me it outright. Could have, it could have killed you, possibly. Well, outright. 60 10, if you rolled a 60. Oof. Yeah. The, the will save to move you around. Um, and he's in a bite at Ozzy for stabbing him. Fifteen plus 15, 30. That's a hit. 
Okay, uh, D8 plus 9 piercing. Oh, is that all? Is this the Screeling well, or the big guy? The, this is the Scree Sire. The big guy. 12, you said, right? Uh, I said 3 plus 9, yes. Okay. At what point do we run away? After we what, kill after, him. After I take 32 more damage. <laughs> The screaming attacks uh, Ghost, who's adjacent, for the bite attack. Okay. Nine and nine is 18. 20 KAC. Just a miss again. A miss. All right. Uh, Nala. Is this is the Scree Shire a flying creature? It has wings. You have not seen it fly. We could all get Let's away push. from the pool. We could all move southeast. <laughs> We could also push this motherfucker into the pool. It came out of the pool. I think it came out of the pool. I don't think it came out of the pool. Then let's not do that. But. <laughs> <laughs> Although I would point, Although I would like just to point out that the cold iron that's nat natural on the asteroid, it's vulnerable to. But the acid, which is natural on the asteroid, on the asteroid, it's totally cool with. Weird. <laughs> well, we're vulnerable. We're, we're say we're resistant to water, but we're vulnerable to plutonium. Hmm. I think the cold iron was an addition to this area, maybe by like a crash or something. Actually, the cold, the cold iron is what they mined. They mined. All right, Nala. Um, nobody else needs healing besides uh, uh, Ozzy, which I can't do because they already did, right? Yep. yep. Correct. <clears throat> you can give Ozzy a move. He could. You could give him your move. To have him run the hell out and get southeast to reposition away from the pool so he can't get thrown back in. I, I can do that and I can give and I can say, let's everybody focus on the big one. Yes. Wee mm. wee. Oui, oui. the, the more I think about this, though, the more I think we don't need to fight this battle. Yeah. I don't know why we need to fight this thing. Experience, uh, man. Let's kill it. Well, let's just drag it sub southeast. <laughs> But okay, so I, I have a feeling we'll get the experience either way. Either way. <laughs> All right. All right so, so what are you doing, Nala? I uh, I say everybody focus on that big one, and I give uh, Ozzy an extra move. I I don't know where I should move to. I mean, it would be a guarded step. Guess I can go if you, here. Adam, if you stayed in melee range, it wouldn't be. You could just move around into the bottom so you're away from the pool. Adam. Oh, Adam, okay. You, you can use that at any time. It doesn't have to be now. It could be on your turn. It could be between your action and any time. It's not just. I'll, I'll just. I'll, sorry, I'll use it now. Got you, buddy. Just because right. that way I won't forget about it. So yeah, I kind of run alongside of him there. Trigger. Yo. Give me a perception check. Do we have no grid at all? Perception. Was that Adam? We have no grid. This is all just free. More or less. Try to stay within the squares. Yeah. 24 on perception. When you drop the shear on eye rifle, you hear it hit a solid metal sound like you're standing on top of a trap door. Oh, hey. Ooh. Oh, that certainly is convenient. Hmm. Do you think it's actually right where it is on the map. Standing Sorry. on top of a trap door? I um I, 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 I changed my move because I don't want to be that far over. I want to be as far from the acid as possible. That's fine. That makes sense. You have your, laser, your regular rifle, Mike, Mikey, now. Yeah. So, it's my turn? It is your turn. Like I said, you dropped the shear on I-Rifle. You heard the noise. Um, you have, you, I assume you took your regular rifle as part of your move? Yeah. yeah. So, what are you shooting? Uh, I guess I got to shoot the Scree Sire. All right. You do a plus two to hit it now with me in the in the area. Okay. This, I, and he's plus, that's plus two total, not plus two just from me. Right. Hey, uh, and, Mikey, just one note. If I go first and I hit, then I can give everybody else an additional plus two. I can reduce its AC by two. I don't know if you'd want to delay or not, but I'll just mention that. Uh, I, uh, I can delay till after you. That's fine. You're calling me. You still have the Screeling on top of you, so you're going to take an attack from the Screeling to move to get the Screech Sire maybe, or to shoot the Screech Maybe, or maybe I have a new trick up my sleeve. All right. Ooh. Um, I, will, uh, I will delay when Ghost tells me to hold off for one second. All right, Ghost. 
Uh, I thought my cool new trick would let me avoid an attack of opportunity by the Screeling, but it only lets me avoid attack of opportunity by the person I'm attacking. So I'm going to let the Screeling get a free attack, and I'm going to do the trick attack on the big guy. All right, are you shooting or are you melee? Uh, oh, I'm melee, so I'm moving over there. Okay, cool. Hold on a second, roll my dice. All right, so my die, my attack on you is going to be a hit. It will indeed. <laughs> It's going to be a D4 plus 4. Before you roll the damage, uh, Fine. 50% anyway. chance of hitting the clone, the holographic clone. Uh, All right. Evens the clone, odds it's you. Sounds good. It hits me. Odds it's you. The clone is still there. I take one damage. You take five damage. Oh, I take five damage. Okay. That uh, takes me and down then you 23 stamina. Uh, then I move down uh, for the trick attack. Uh, is the CR 15 or less? <laughs> yes, it's less than 15. <laughs> trick attack is successful. Uh, well, at least the tr tricky part of it is. Oh, <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. Anyway. She's tricky. She gets around. Just wait for the 3D die to show up. Uh, 26 against KAC. Is it a hit? For 11 points of damage. Okay, now he gets damage reduction on that? Uh, no, it's the cold iron. Oh, okay, use that one. Okay, I'm sorry. And also, I'm giving him a minus two to his AC, so until the top of my next turn, uh, everyone's going to get a plus four to, basically, essentially a plus four. Really, plus two to hit against a minus two AC. Trigger, are you hopping in right now? Yep. Just out of curiosity, why the hell did you get into melee? Because uh, I can get away real easy now. And okay. also the damage is way better than firing because the damage reduction would be minus five. Well, it depends on what you're firing. So yeah, if you fire a projectile, it would do minus five. Oh, that's true. I forgot he's not resistant to energy. That's fine. <laughs> so 18, 19, 20, 22, 25 to hit. Is it hit? You didn't it's need the bonus. Dude. I was going to say, do you want to just keep going there, Mike? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this thing's got for... Yeah, uh, that's true. EAC or EAC. Um, okay, so damage. Never do that. Uh, eight, nine, 11 uh, points of damage. 11. Eleven. One one. Eleven. Eleven. That's uh not that's not kinetic. That is a fire or something, so no reduction. That is a laser rifle. Nice. Yes. So laser, if, you gotta do the Yes. Laser. From, from, from moon unit Zappa. If we were playing four E, he would be bloodied now. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, Luffy. Thanks, Mike. You love it. That was with my laser beam. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take the dog out. I'll be right back. Okay. Can I use my magic missile? You could use your magic missile, or you could use your disintegrator gun. And the disintegrator gun would, fold, it would do full damage. Don't be hit with it. Because I was wrong. They will, they will do the same amount. Of one will hit automatically, though. Damage, yes, so I'm going with magic missile. Um, the big guy. Okay, the realize, realize the Screeling. You are the closest target to the Screeling. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to get that then. Good to just take out, probably take out the Screeling with magic missile, and then we don't have to worry about it. Five, six, plus three, nine. Which does just enough to kill the nine hit points it had left. Oh, well done. Screeling is down and dead. Oops, what did I just do? All right. That was good, Ailisi. You killed something. Don't you feel good right now? <laughs> um, sure. That is the spirit, yes. Uh, you can still move. Oh no, you rolled three, so you can't. 
Yeah. Sibian, you're up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my lesser mind thrust on him. Mm. And that is... You're going to save against it, but that's fine. Why isn't it letting me change? Is this a level that? two spell again? No, this is my level one. Okay. It's a 2D, it's a 2d10 instead. I'm just trying to get to it. So, you got to save against that, which you probably will. So take four. I will. All right. Wait, wait, Chris, were you supposed to do a a d10 a d20 roll or? No, 2d10 damage. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. Ozzy, you're looking at a plus three, or really a plus one, and then the creature has a minus two. Oh, and also, Ozzy, uh, because it's uh, flat-footed, it is not able to take attacks of opportunity right now against anyone. Oh, so we should just run the hell away? Well, it's already passed. He's at bloodied, so I think we can take him. What about the hatch? I say let's kill it, I think and then get the hatch. It's like it's like oh, lost. that's right. I forgot about the hatch. That's a good. That's a very good point. All right, Ozzy's up. You, you guys uh, attacked. Ozzy is going to fight defensively. Hmm. And so he's going to... Uh, with the shard. So I think that means... Shoot, I should have looked this up. What do I, what do I have for total? Uh, it's at a minus two AC, and I have a plus one to hit, correct? Confirmed. All right, and I forgot. Fight defensively. I think it's at a minus two. Do you think you can get flanking? Oh, minus four. If you... No, we. No, never mind. It's a. Uh... on the edge of the acid pool. Yeah. All right. Not a good. So one. I'm gonna hit my. I'm gonna do my roll. I, oh, oh, it's a crit. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, twenty-two shard damage. Love it. Nice shard. Twenty-two. Wow. Nice. That's... Lovely. Oh, and apparently I have to update my macro because <laughs> I, I got I didn't I didn't add the plus one for my uh, strength. All right, uh, sorry. I, uh, all right, a scree sire. I thought I removed the scree link, but okay. Scree sire's turn. He will um, take another massive bite at Ozzy. He's going to jump in the acid bath and recover pit points. 9 plus 15 mm. is 24. Uh, it is a miss because of my fight defensively. Ooh. Look at that. My kinetic armor class is a 25 with my plus 2. That's brilliant. Alright. Um, that is his turn. Nala. Finish him. Uh, I search on the ground for the entrance to... The hatch, the whatever that I uh, that I thought I heard when I uh, trigger stepped on something. Hey, uh, Cap right. Captain, we are fighting here. Maybe you look for things in the sun later. All right, I'm gonna fire my pistol first and then look. All right. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna say get him. <laughs> Focus <laughs> on the big one, uh. and I'm gonna fire. <laughs> That was a good brush, Joel. <laughs> you got two strokes in that was a good brush. You just have to leave. Every time Natural I... six isn't gonna hit anybody. No, it is not. Alright, P time for me. And everybody gets a plus one to uh, to hit. Alright. Ghost. Uh we're gonna do another trick attack with the shard, I think. Uh, oh, I was screwing myself on damage, too. So he succeeds on the stealth? I'm sure we got him. At one. So it was a difference of two on the crit. It's not a big deal, though. It may be, because based on what Bob's going to roll now. Oh, yeah. Uh, 25 against KAC. Uh, 26 against KAC. That's a hit. No, oh, 27 with Adam's cord. No, that's a hit. Um, no, you don't, yeah, if you're not. Yeah, 10 damage with the shard. All right, he is uh, fading fast. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Trigger. 
Oh, and I'm going to give him another minus two to his armor class again until next turn. There you go. Uh, he's he, still walking. He walked the dog, so I guess we pause on trigger. Well, I'll just roll a d20. Roll a d20? All right. Even when somebody rolls for him, he still hits. Uh, <laughs> the laser rifle is a d8 plus what? Uh, I can look it up. Well, no, for him. The weapon is a d8. Uh, It'd be plus four, right? That's what I thought. He's got the same plus to his dex that I do, and I'm a yeah, plus. But five. you don't add dex to you don't add dex. You're right. Bonus damage to. Uh, You're right. Range. It's just your it's your level for a long arm. Yeah. So d8 so, plus four. Yes. Got it. Done. And well, that's unlike Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Had you rolled better, you could have killed it if he wouldn't have been here. He would have been happy. <laughs> I at least here's a big chance. Uh, yes, I'm gonna kill something again. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot at it with my disintegrator. That sounds oh, like a great yes. idea. Are you going to disintegrate it? I hope. Plus one. Plus plus one plus one. Did you want to roll your um? Do you want to use a Benny? And minus, you have three. minus two on the AC as well. You have two, you're right. Yeah, she rolled a... I'm gonna roll again. She rolled a natural one. Uh, <laughs> oh. I rolled a natural Maybe. 17. That is a hit. That'll hit. Okay. Let's see some damage. Here we go. That thing's like 1d10, right? Yeah. That's a d10 nice weapon. plus one. Seven. Doesn't matter anymore. He had seven hit points left. Oh. <gasps> Really good at killing things exactly. You kill the Screeling, <laughs> you kill the Scree Sire. You don't really need us anymore, do you, Jules? Elise, no. you know they grow up so fast. I am very proud of you. Look at you. You kill this thing, you kill that thing. You are learning. <laughs> yes. I, as he, as, sorry, go ahead. He's proud of me. <laughs> you really want that to be the case? I don't know. <laughs> Ozzy's going to flop down in place uh, for a 10 minute rest. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna. Do you need uh, hit points healed? I'm down two hit points. All right. I, I I have the. I'll wait till somebody's more damaged. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, hang on. Uh, you need to stop jumping into the water. Uh, I'm gonna treat deadly wounds. I just can't remember how much that heals you for. It, are you sure that that's worthwhile for two hit points? Oh, it's it's medicine skill. It's um, you can use it like. Very frequent. Oh, yeah. Anyone with medic medicine skill can do this. You can use medicine to restore hit points to a living wounded or creature. This takes one minute. The DC is based on the medical equipment used. If you succeed, you restore one hit point per level, so it'd be four hit points. Um, if you exceed the DC by five or more, you add your intelligence modifier. I don't think I exceeded it by five, but we'll confirm that. Um, so I have to look up med kit now. Trigger. Cleans off the uh, hatch he found. Bob, does that um, Did you negate something? the medical kit? Like what? the hatch under his feet? No, you need the medical kit to do it. Oh, and I failed. The DC is twenty-five to succeed on a basic med kit, so I did. But it doesn't, it doesn't consume the med kit, right? Like you still have it, you can use it again. Yes. Yep, that's true. So, do any of you have medicine? Because you I can... have medicine. Maybe you could try oh. to heal him his two hit points. Oh, it's not going to work. You need a 25. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, Sivian, do you have medicine? Yep. Okay. I have medicine. Oh, I'll try. Let's everyone try, yeah. Nope, 11. So close. <laughs> 22. Uh, uh, you know, oh, you oh, know. Okay, so. guys, next time we do this. We, we help have, each other. We do the assist, and we can give each other a boatload yes. of bonuses. That's what we should have yes. done. All right, next time. I'm tired of being poked and prodded by you people. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time, somebody should not fall into a vat of acid. I yeah. was pushed. No, uh, you weren't. Ghost goes. You to jumped. Ghost uh, loses interest, and he checks out the dead body that is sort of in the reclined position by the uh, ledge. All right, it is a, uh, a dead Eoxian. It has um, the... Um, corpse fleet 
a suit on, uh, the logo's on the sleeve. Not much else to say. No, no items of uh, value? No. He picks it up. It's, it's missing the arm. Hey, Alisi, Alisi, give me a hand here. Grab the feet. Okay. All right, on the count of oh, three. Time out, time out, time out. No, 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 no. Um, give me a check. Jules, we need 20 check. Hey, at least he pulls the leg and it comes off. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Ah, uh, he shakes his head. <laughs> could you, could you give me a hand here? Oh, give me a leg. Give me the leg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that he's good. He throws it into the acid. Mikey, you almost killed it, and then I at least you finished the job. Right. Excellent. We you roll a 16 to hit, and then one for damage. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I tried to live up to your standards, Mikey, but I didn't do the damage that you do. <laughs> That's a it's dealt, it said he pulled a Joel with the short bow. Yes, exactly. Uh, is there anything else? Can we look in the pool? Do we see anything at the bottom of the pool? Oh, that would be so d d if you did. No, there's nothing that you see. It's it's thick it's thick green goo. You really can't see. It's not goo. It's acid. All right. <laughs> and this and this thing literally crawl out of that pool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, wait, Bob. Bob. Can we push you, its body in there? You, you can say, "Is that a piece of Adam's flesh of Ozzy's flesh?" <laughs> I do. do we have any containers? I like the what? way you're thinking. I like the way you're mm. thinking, Bugman. That is a great idea. The creature is immune to acid. That's why it's in the pool. What if I push it into the pool? It just stays there forever. You can push the screen link into the pool. It's not immune to acid. What about a medical, uh, not a medical, a, uh, a, a metal drinking flask? You could try. Yeah, okay. Did, he takes his... Uh, acid, you, would, you would need glass or something. Oh, glass, right. Yes. Uh, in, in, in technicality, when I've heard this, this played before... One group played that the guy's armor actually took the damage too, and his damn armor became ineffective so they could repair it. And one group hand waved that. I am content to not put that in the situation. So Adam's armor survived okay. I'm okay with that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, here's the half step. Uh, oh, I, I, know, I know medicine. I can heal him if he needs help. We're all going to assist you. Yes, hang on. First, we're going to all do medicine rolls. We need a 10 or better. For each of us that does 10 or better, we give you a plus 2 to your roll. Yeah, I'm trained in medicine. Nope. Oh, come on, yep. Nella. I rolled I a 1, it. so sorry. Oh, now I rolled a natural 20. Okay, so yeah. you get a plus 2 for me and from uh, Ailisi. And Sivian, okay. can you provide a... Sivian checked as well, so you get a plus 6. Now, okay. Mikey, you need a 25 or better with a basic med kit to heal points. Okay. So 19 or better. Yeah. So you guys um, just gave me a six, right? Right. And my my base medicine is 10 plus whatever I roll. So 16 oh. plus whatever. He so you made it. He needs a nine or better. Yeah. I rolled a 12. Dude, what was that? 12? Oh, my jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending you a microscope for next time. <laughs> it's this one die. It's it's this one die. The die. The numbers are in Elvish, and I just I don't know why I love this dice oh. and I won't get. You've had that get die involved. for a while, right? Because I remember. Yeah, that. I was, I've had I've had this die since basically we started. Yeah, I remember that. It one. only it only has eleven through twenty twice on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is that what it is in Elvish? <laughs> is, that why, is that why I like it so much? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Look, there's no one or two on there. It's just 12 and 12. You did not hit 30, though, right? That was 28 when you added all that stuff up? Oh, uh, yeah. 12 plus 6 plus 10. Okay. So well, I only needed two, so. You heal uh, the equivalent of uh, Trigger's level in hit points, so you heal back four. So four. Just to note, if Trigger had gotten 30, then we would have added his intelligence modifier to the healing roll. Which would be uh, nice. you know, an additional two. All right, so quick check where everybody is for, for health. Uh, Ghost? 
Uh, Ghost is hurt a little bit. He is down 23 stamina out of 28, and he's got six resolve left. Okay. I, I think you're down 223, or you're down... Oh, sorry. I have 23. I'm down five. Oh, okay. okay. Trigger? Uh, trigger... Um, I, I, trigger doesn't understand what damage is. <laughs> That's because he's the last guy on the border. Hmm. Nala? I'm a little bit in uh, that range, too, but uh, I am down 14 damage up point. Ooh. You probably want to burn a resolve point, then. Uh, can I, so can I, I try to heal them, too? No, because okay, I can only do, like, if I get a 30. Uh, it only works for hit points. The medicine checks only work for hit points. Oh, okay. Stamina. So if okay. I do that, what do I get back for... All, oh, of just, it. all of it. Speed. Actually, my my speed is 30, it. guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he he found his speed, finally. <laughs> it's, it's, it was next to my stamina points. All right. What do I... So the way it works is just you. if you ever expend a resolve point, it instantly heals all of your stamina points back to full. Well, okay, it, so instantly my... being relative. It's 10 minutes of in-game time. Oh, good point. My six resolves, I go back I go to five resolves and I have full full stamina. Yep. Full stamina. Okay. Uh Ozzy, how are you? I'm full hit points, full stamina, but I'm down two resolve points. Hi, right, Lisey? Uh full hit points, down eight stamina. Right. You have not used a resolve point yet. Nope. Do you wish to use one now? What's your what is, how many stamina points do you have? I have 20 stamina points total. So you're almost 12 on, left. You're almost on 50%. Yes. Ooh, side note. I can't tell you how many times uh, Tyler forgot to heal. And we go into the next battle and his uh, 50 hit point fighter has 8 uh, hit points left. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lesson he's got to learn, man. That's a oh, lesson you got to learn. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you let him redo it or do you do you let him face the consequences? What? Usually, I let him redo it. Oh, that's good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're not hanging a banner. We're not running for uh, Sorry, perfect runs through Sorry, Temple or Tomb of Horrors or anything. So We're having fun. And so, no. uh, then I assume his characters never die. Would that be fair to say? They have. Uh, they've gotten knocked down, but not died yet. Yes. Gotcha. But they get up again. Uh, thank you, Adam. You ain't never yep. gonna keep them down. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep him down, but and I, I knocked Ozzy pretty hard in this one. Well, considering the first thing you did was knock off all of my stamina and two hit points. <laughs> I mean, if he had stayed in the water, if the creature just kept him in there, like grappled him or something, that'd be terrible. Jumped on top of him. Yep. Sixty ten every round. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw one of those entangled grenades at. <laughs> all right, uh, I Lisi, are you spending all these off points? Sure. All right, so, so then resolve, kill your stamina. Sivian, you're uninjured? No, no, I'm, I'm down 15 stamina points from 36. Oh. oh. Why does everybody have so many more stamina points than me? Because you're the mage. You're the wizard. I'm crazy. I'm Are a crazy spending? constitution bum. Yeah, I'm going to spend a resolve. Back. Good idea. Okay. So, Jules, your character is uh, something they call glass cannon. Are you familiar with that term? <laughs> no. It's a pretty <laughs> cool idea. Uh, as a cannon puts out a huge amount of damage, like a massive output of damage, which are your cool spells. However, it's made of glass, which means it can be shattered very easily. So you're super fragile, but you put out crazy damage, and therefore, you are a glass cannon. Okay. Or you could just be a super cannon like moi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're a bug. Yeah, you could squish me on the glass. All right, you guys open the hatch. It has very recently been open. You can tell. Does your no butt light open. up, Damien? Does your butt light up in the dark? Uh, it definitely does. Cool. So, can we see um, that? All right. So you guys open the hatch. It opens effortlessly and noiselessly. Um, you would you would guess that the fact that it was barely covered implies that uh, somebody recently went down there, and it is pitch black. This is this, this reminds you of um of what the uh, Captain Akawa, Akawa said that the air is filled with fine black particles that prevent all types of vision from seeing further than ten feet. We're gonna have to put on our hoods. Uh, wait, uh, uh, do, we do not need to go down into there. Why would we want to go down into here? I do not like this. Are you afraid of the dark? 
Uh, no, I am not afraid of the dark. I am afraid of the dark. No, I am, of the dark. I am afraid of the creatures in the dark that disembowel you and eat you for breakfast. Ghost is afraid of the dark. I say we send Ayalisi first. Yes, okay. good idea, Trigger. No, I think the bug man should go first. With his light up butt? Yeah. Light up butt, baby. Are we, are we really, do we really need to go down there, Trigger? I think, I think, uh, I, I think, g Ghost, we, we, we need to go down there. Uh, okay. I, I don't like it either at all, and, and, and I don't care what I, at least he says, every time it's dark, things try to kill us. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly, you understand, yes. Yeah, no, she's just a silly little girl, and I don't even. All right. Wait, wait, here, here. He reaches into a cheek pouch, and he produces uh, some sushi from the uh, from the party from, like, two weeks ago when we were back at the university, and they were honoring us with all these uh, honors. Anyone Ew. like some sushi? It is delicious. It's really good. Trigger? If it's yeah. sitting in your yeah. cheek pouches you for that long, can you taste it? It. Well, no, it is in the cheek pouch. I'm not eating it. I am storing it. That is different. But it's in your mouth. Here. It's like a refrigerator, right, Elise? Here, it's try a green dragon. It is ill in the avocado. Delicious. You must try this. It no. was in your mouth. <laughs> no, no. Here, try this one. This one is dynamite. <laughs> I mean, roll. Dynamite roll. That was yes. a good one. Wait, don't confuse the grenade with the dynamite roll. That would oh, be... Right. <laughs> That would be bad, Ali. Right. Don't okay. do that. So All right. he has a snack. Okay. You descend the ladder into the dark. I've changed your map. You guys are in the bottom left. Hmm. Hey, look, it's dark. You are at the very bottom left. Now, I would like you all, if possible, to turn off the lights where you are. Ooh. Oh, mine are already off. Oh, it's dark, baby. All right, hold on a second. I need to close my blinds at least. It's still, like daylight here. <laughs> <laughs> I look really white. Oh, sorry. Did I run out of daylight? <laughs> I've heard of daylight. I see a little coming through a window every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> That's as dark as I can make it. What time is it? What are you, three hours, Mike? Uh, no, it's 8.15. Wow. So but it, does, it doesn't, the sun doesn't set till like nine o'clock. All right. So this, descending through the trap door, you find yourselves in a tight corridor, barely able to see 10 feet in front of you. Just as Captain Aquana had described, the air is filled with fine, dark particles that prevent all types of vision from seeing further than 10 feet. The goal here gentlemen and jewels is to try to have right. a horror level of intensity it means no joking around let's see if we can actually find a way to do this we've <laughs> once or twice Sorry. i was no just gonna say, comments i was just gonna say trigger walks into something squishy oh no that's ayalisi's butt okay <laughs> well adam i said 50 50 i've already struck out yep <laughs> no, no, we yet. you start start over do over all right, so God, I can't even see. I don't even know what you guys see, which is the hardest part. I'm gonna. Uh... We don't see a whole lot, dude. No, you don't. No. All right. I so, think if you click on our character, you see what they. I can't. I see. Yeah, I, yeah. If I click on you and hit Control L, I see what you see. That's right. All right. So you have a spot that looks to the south of Trigger. There's a little bit to the right of Ilesi, and to the right of uh, Ozzy are options. So wait, question: Where do we come down from? Um, between between Ialisi and and Sivian. Okay, so we came down between. Okay, okay. You are you can move your characters. You cannot move outside the bounds of the of the. Uh, um... What are you talking about? I did. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, nicely done, Josh. Listen, dudes, we need to all grab hands. Well, you can, you can all see enough. 
So, wow. Mike, if you want to move further a little further south, you could do that. If I, at least he wants to move to the east, she can do that. Ozzy can also move. So, Josh, for example, I can move to like right where the edge of that light shadow thing is. You can you can, you can't move outside of the light boundary. So you're going to get to a point if you for, go further south. Okay. Go ahead. You can't go. You can't go. Like you couldn't move to another section outside of the light boundary. God, gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. So your ends there. I at least hear you going to the right. Um, I'm looking. I obviously I'm not seeing very much. Go ahead, and move to the right. Okay. I don't want to go by myself. Don't we worry. should stick together. I am right behind you. But why do you have no light there? I have light. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of the that's why. We can see it. Yeah, I see it now. But nobody can see her anymore. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a dead end. Yeah. I do not like these. Is that a treasure chest? No. All right. Oh, that was the test tunnel. Uh, what are the walls made of? Are they uh, natural? Are they carved? Like uh, made by a finished product? Product Or what do we see? Hold on, Amy just gave it. They could be Swedish. They're not necessarily yes, finished. The goal was to have a horse to okay. explore the creepy tunnels. Ah! 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 One Benny for Amy. <laughs> Amy's like, I've been doing this for 11 years. I need more than. <laughs> what was that? I said, You've been doing this for a lot of years. You need more than. More than a poop. More than a poop. What? It's no different than. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Say goodnight to the Lola. She's on my lap. Good night. Thank you. Finally, stopped being spaz. Sorry to interrupt the spooky. It's okay. We were just starting. Yeah. We were struggling with spooky to start. Okay. Right, okay. Spooky time. Yeah. Right, okay. Creepy jewels. Oh, well, huh? I'm <laughs> the all the the walls are carved stone. Uh, there's weird uh, slits in them. You might you might call it a vent, but they're they're taller and longer, but they're still very narrow. Uh, it's creepy, car dark and, and and quiet, very eerie. Is there dust on the ground? Can we see tracks? You you mentioned that the hatch had been opened recently. Can we see if there's a a trail that anyone left in all of this dust? Oddly not. I have a. I, I do not like this. How does something not leave tracks in here, in this place full of dust? Are you going to walk on the walls? No, there's no dust. Oh, I thought the dust is obscuring our vision. There, there, there's the particles in the air, but if you get down and look at the ground, there's no dust on the ground. Like, you wouldn't see a footprint of the dust. I do not there like you. this. I really do not like this. All right. So there is a, a, a doorway north of Ozzy that is, the way the map is drawn, it's hard to see. And I screwed up when I drew the light the, the first time. So if you choose to go through it, I have to move you through there. After that, it's not a bit. After that, everything else will be okay. And the hallway continues beyond the doorway, or does the hallway end and then there's just the doorway? Uh, there's, it shows as the end of a hall here, but it's actually I, I need to make it a doorway because where I started you on the map. Okay, so it sounds like we we should go through the door. Go oh, that way. Yes, yeah, so then we'll then we'll be into this in earnest. All right, then let's go. All right, so I'm going to move Ozzy, then you'll be in charge of moving yourselves. Ghost checks for traps on the door if there is any. There is not any. Okay. Wait, we're all staying together? 
I just put you in here. You can move around as you want. This room, you better turn here. a as ghost moves around a little bit. You can see there are several beds here. And there's some actual some some artificial lighting. It's uh, it looks like somebody had built some um, power panels into the wall to provide artificial light. Are the beds covered in dust? No, one bed. The four, three of the four beds look unoccupied. The fourth bed, the one um, all the way in the top right, has a lump under the um, the one that Ozzy just moved to has a lump under the covers. Ghost comes to join Ozzy. His weapon drawn. I shoot at the lump with my laser pistol. All right, roll initiative. <laughs> I was expecting that to go a little differently. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was surprised as well. I can't see my die. You may have to roll on on screen. Oh, Goodbye. sorry, I rolled initiative without uh, letting you add. Apologies. Oh, it's okay. It's no big deal. Right. Taking somebody out's easy. Seven. Seven, Jeff. Eight. Ozzy, what do you got? Oh, Ozzy filled in. I know. Nala? I think he said seven. Trigger, what do you got? Plus initiative. And Tyler. So, I'm sorry, we're just rolling initiative? Yes. Okay. Uh, holy shit. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22. All right. And we creature I Alisi you can uh you can t you can make your um attack one Well I rolled a natural one so I missed obviously Well you were you were aiming at a, at, a, at, a, at a thing underneath the um, underneath cover, so it's possible you couldn't see it well. Yeah. As as you as you fired, it felt the the, the um, shot at it, and it actually ate the sheet that was covering it. It just sucked right into the creature. This was a bad idea. Mm. Uh, top of the order. What does the creature look like now that the sheet's gone? <clears throat> Zoom in and see. Uh, it's still in the. Sh we can only see like a maybe half of it, the lower left hand corner, which is the radius of the light. Well, that's all you can see then. What? Oh. What is the lower left hand corner that I can see? Uh, it, it's it's kind of a uh uh a, 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 a black spiky oozy kind of thing. Yeah, you can't see that whole thing, Bob. It's like half in dim light, half in full light. Oh, I, I seriously reduced the brightness on my screen so I wouldn't uh -oh. be illuminated. Maybe that's why. Uh, yeah. yeah. When I increase the brightness, I can see it about a lot better. Yeah, the way, the way the way light works here is there's a ten foot radius and then it decreases. Gotcha. So you get you get a little little light from around. It's okay to illuminate yourself a little bit, Bob, because all you are is a is a dark blob. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, a life sciences or a, a mysticism check would that tell us what, more? A life science check would probably tell you more. Okay. All we are is dust in the wind. <laughs> but it's not your it's not your turn. Um, oh. Okay. Go. Um, Trigger. It is your turn. You have no line of sight to this thing. Okay. Um... Once again, on this map, guys, all the squares are 10 foot, so, like, Sivan should be for the, in technically right there so that Ghost could go around him. But we're, I'm loose on it right now. Ghost is right? So you mean Trigger can go around him? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> go ahead and move yourself. Make sure this thing is up in the upper left corner, is that correct? I mean, upper right corner. Correct. Well, I'm really having a hard time with my right and left. <laughs> <laughs> Your right and left? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I would need to move. 
right? Yeah. Move. You can move right up next to Ilysi and have a and just shoot it. Uh, uh, I can get close to. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna hold you guys to the measurements because I can't hold you to the measurements. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So let's uh, let's shoot him. Let the shoe sting begin. Woo! Natural 90. That's a good start. Quarantine 20, 21, 22, 23. That is a hit. Okay. That is a hit. And then we do... What we believe to be seven points of damage. All right. That's fire Alicia. damage. Fire damage, correct. All right. Hey, Lisi. I'm going to do a life sciences check to see if I know <coughs> what it is All right. first. Um, I like science for that it was vulnerable to my laser rifle. <laughs> <laughs> So ILEC recognizes this as a ferro fluid ooze. Uh, is oh, a I, was that Mikey? I had a problem with that once before. So um, it's a utilitarian substance that is created by suspending coated nanometer-sized particles of mag magnetite and viscous liquid. Is this Starfinder's edition of a gelatinous cube? Uh, it's kind of like a black black ooze. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, it actually uh, has a. It's very magnetic sensitive. It has its own magnetic field. Mm. It can use that to leap closer to things with large, with heavy metal heavy metals, and uh, it can attach itself to metal things too. Most heavy metals are non magnetic, so it does it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's great. Uh, see. I am going to shoot it with my disintegrator pistol. <laughs> uh, I gotta get one of these pistols. Ten. That's a miss, right? Ten is a miss. Sivian. I'm gonna try to daze it. Okay. That's a good idea. Mm. Like your spell? Yep. Okay. Is it a CR three or lower? It's it not is, humanoid. It. It's not. It's not humanoid though. All right, doesn't work. Anyway, so I cast it. It takes three uh, negative. Uh, takes three hit points. Oh, four. Excuse me, four hit points of damage. From it, the um, uh, what is my? Your skill is backlash. Backlash. So it's one point per level. So just wow. to, cl to clarify, uh, he's got a a part of his mystic training. If he casts a spell and it doesn't do anything to the creature, then it does his damage in level by default. Okay, because oozes have a lot of immunity. I just wanted to make sure, but I don't think that would count. Okay, so you said four? Yep. Well, is it mindless, Josh? Is it a mindless creature? Yes. Then my, no I damage? I don't think any anything that affects the mind will do damage. Oh, okay, so this is a mental attack. Okay, then no, it would not attack. Zero. Uh, Double damage. Through the life sciences check, do I get any information on what attacks are successful? Um, you you learn that it's an ooze, and oozes have certain immunities. Um, do I know what the immunities are, though? Uh, you can ask me as we go. Sight, something, something targets its mind; it can't be critically hit because it has no critical parts. But oh. it is susceptible to most most damage types. Okay. Uh, Sivian, are you done then? All right, ghost. Uh, trick attack, I suppose. Uh, oops, gotta click on the guy. Uh, is it possible that his token is on the GM level and not on the highest level? I don't seem to be able to click on. Him. Oh, the that's creature? On, that's on me. Hang on, I think I know why. You're not. On, you're not on your level. No, nope, I'm not. Sorry. Is this, on my level, Bob. Is the CR six or less? Yes. Okay, successful sneak. And now uh, for the trick attack part, we'll see if the blast actually hits. 
How is an 11 with a minus 2 AC, a 13 against EAC? A 13 against EAC is just a hit. Uh, I rolled a minimum 1, so 10 damage, uh, fire damage. All right. And he will move uh, himself as part of the trick attack, uh, maybe out of the way, like here, so other people have an angle. All right. That's the end of his turn. All right. The ferro fluid oozes through one of those slots in the wall and disappears. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I do not like this place. Uh, it's gonna go I, Elise, typically before when fires their weapon, they know what they're firing at. Uh, <laughs> but in this case, good job. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yes, you're doing well. You kill things, you shoot things. It is not bad. Yeah, I killed I killed Tahoman and I killed the <laughs> She's big on killing Tahoman. I killed the, the Screeling and the Scree Sire. I was very productive. I must say, I, I have to say that is very impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right, let's keep going. We look. Uh, he looks under the bed, or under all the beds. Do we find <laughs> anything? Uh, are you exploring the northern part of the room too, which we haven't, which we haven't visited yet? That you can't, I'm uh, going up there. Uh, starting with the beds first. All right. I at least he goes to the further north. I was going up there. Sorry. All right. We can finish with Bob first. Yeah. Um, uh, natural twenty. Twenty nine on yeah. perception. The the beds are beds. Your perception implies that. <clears throat> Uh, I'm actually going to go to ILEC and then you guys put the pieces together. Oh, okay. um, clearly, this was meant as a fantasy map. Those are not fantasy fixtures. For the sake of our conversation, they will be um, science fiction tables with uh, old computer equipment. Okay. Based on, on not the, food. Not food. Based on the uh, the age of the equipment, from what Ghost can ascertain, it probably been here 20 years. Uh, it looks like it may have been some sort of research facility uh, for the uh, the equipment is Eoxian. Mm. Or corpse fleet, actually, because mm. there's a difference. But there are traces of Cult of the Devourer. Uh, from what you guys can piece together, uh, give me a culture check. Twenty-eight. That's more than adequate. It, it looks like the... Ooh, somebody else? Actually, 29. What the heck? That's not cool. <laughs> 30. <laughs> um, from what you guys can piece together, it looks like this was originally in the Oxian location. They bugged out at some point, no pun intended. The mm -hmm. cult moved in and they've left as well. Um, there are signs... Um, that there was a recent battle in here. There are scorch marks on the wall, and there is the remains of a pharaoh fluid ooze in one of the uh, in the in the floor. It's the northeast. Hmm. I did not have that on the map. Sorry. Good news is, is that means we can kill these things. Hmm. That's a good point. Oh, some would say it. If it, if bleeds, it bleeds, we can we kill, kill it. it. Hey, Jinx, buy me a coke. Oh, no, never mind. And honestly, oozes don't bleed. Uh, I am just thinking, you know when we went to the ship, the Acreon, and the Drift Rock from Absalon Station, we were attacked. Do you remember the type of ship that attacked us? Um, corpse that Fleet. Corpse Fleet, right? That was Corpse Fleet, even though... Um, on your way to the Acreon, it was Corpse Fleet that was hired, that had hired uh, Clara 247. 247. Yes. Oh, yes. They've been dogging our steps all along this whole adventure. It is very yes. interesting. I do not like it when someone tries to kill me. I think it's rather flattering. Uh, everybody need a perception check? Did the previous perception? No, no do not. Yeah. This is different. Um, 
18. Trigger is looking at his feet. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to know why for his feet are so... You hear I mean, the, the sound of the ooze passing through the wall, the ferro fluid ooze, disgusting. was very distinct. You hear it in the wall around you, but you have no idea where it's coming from. You're unable to identify where in the wall it is, or where in the wall they are. Uh, dudes, uh, do you hear what I hear? Uh, it sounds like it's all around us. Uh, nope, I don't hear anything. No, I don't hear it either. You where? Where? I hear nothing. Where? In the in the in the vents. It's it just sounds like it's around us. Uh, game over, man. He's game over. Fifty uh. percent. You don't know what that is. <laughs> that is too funny. All right. Uh, if you guys want to continue on, there's more to see. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's keep going. So, uh, I'm gonna go back for a second and retro something. Okay. Um, Chiskix gave you a device to help you hone in on the energy thing that you're trying to find. Oh, that oh. Was great. Call it a tri tricorder um, to help you hone in on it. it. The signal is stronger down here than it was on the surface. It can kind of, it, but it's having a hard time giving you a direction. Is this a door? That is a door. Oh, we should go through it. You might want everybody else to come near you. That's why I said we. Can we uh, search the rest of the room, though? I just want to make sure we haven't missed anything else. Yeah, I, I at least you found that the, the computer terminals, they were inoperative. Okay. Um, There's no data banks on there that we could pull down data files from. Tr Trigger try could try to power it up using a power core from one of your weapons. It would eat some of your charges. Um, you might get some information that way. Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Let's All do right. It. Trigger, plug it in. Give me a computer's check or an engineering check. All right. Can we assist him? Uh, this isn't a hard check. Okay. Like he's gonna succeed even if he rolls one. Uh, fourteen plus thirteen. You're you're, you're fine. <laughs> Um, Trigger takes his <coughs> one of his spare um, cartridges, plugs it in. It eats up uh, three charges out of it, even though I know he's not keeping track of it. I want him to, and I, but I'm not forcing it because I'm not doing it either. Comes to life. Um, who reads the oxygen? Me. Uh, Ghost has it too, and Nala reads it. I read it too. Oh, yeah, but I give Nala fifty percent chance of being asleep. <laughs> this is true. Then Sivian. No, I, I've got his video. I give him Nala a hundred percent chance of being asleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one in this video. Oh, the, the four or five of you are you able to piece together what's going on with the system? It's it's clearly there was a science expedition that was here, uh, studying the byproduct of. Um, Actually, I want to give a give me a computer check to see what you uncover here. Getting it working is one thing, but actually searching through the computer and accessing the systems is another. Can we assist on that? You can assist on that. You get a plus two from Ghost. Who's plus, doing the actual check? Plus two from Lacey. I'm assuming it was Mike. I thought it was Mike too. No, it's Trigger. It's Trigger. Mm. <laughs> mm, you'll get jacked from me. Uh, Nala, Sid. Nala gave another plus two, I think, with a very impressive yeah. 22. So it's plus six so far. Mm -hmm. Plus six? Anybody else? Sure. I think that's it. All right, so uh, well, another computer's check, right? Yes. Hang on, got to put on my old man glass. <laughs> because it's freaking dark in here now. Uh, 13 plus 13, 26. 26. Is that, with the, with the, is that with the six? Oh, no, plus six. 32. 32. 
you're able to uh, navigate past a couple of basic safeguards from a, you know security safeguards that were for science, not for military grade. You uh, are able to find some of the core files. You actually find a couple of video records, and uh, some of it's pretty disturbing is, stuff. Is Madonna in there? <laughs> video records. Oh. The uh, first one is uh, detailed with the scientific experiment. What the expedition is there for? They're um, trying to understand what this black mist is, and can it be weaponized in some way? Uh, it looks like they had some initial success in actually pumping it out of these quarters that you're in. Um, that's part of what the vents were for. The vents are throughout the base, but they were never able to actually get it all out. Um, they just could never keep the system running. They don't know where the mist comes from. <clears throat> uh, they do. Have, there are several other uh, references to other laboratories as you read through this series of blogs. Uh, other labs in the in the building or in the cavern complex um, and they succeeded in taking the ferrofluid fluid oozes and creating something much much worse and that is ultimately what killed them can't wait to find that later mm. yeah uh, do, do we know when josh do we know uh, so and i'm assuming that where i am is where the computer is is that a safe assumption Actually, the table where Sivian is is where the computer is. Oh, okay. So we should really be up there, then, right? Yeah. Okay. So Nala too. No, I guess Nala wants to be up there too. Everybody yeah. should be there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, do we know? Can, can I tell when their last entry did into the computer? Yeah, it, it was uh, nineteen point six years ago. Um, there seems to be a little bit more that you ha are struggling to get access to. Can you give me one more check to see if you can get there? Uh, sure. Are, are you guys going to help me? Or? I'm rolling. Yeah, sure. I'm helping. What's a computer? I assist. Oh, it's a computer. Uh, you get a plus two for me. Okay. Bugman, are you going to give me a computer? A computer took, oh god, I can't even give, all right, let's see, here we go. Are you trained in computers? Yeah, he's yeah. one. Okay. You must, you must type really, hey, look at that. Hey. You must type yeah, really, 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 really fast. No, he has <laughs> arms. Can you, can you see him? You got little tiny arms. Nala? Nala, you got a, one more computer assist? Yeah, I can do one more. Jules, you uh, eighteen. 18. So you get plus 8, Mike, to your roll. Plus 8. So everybody made it. Woohoo! All right. And then there's Ozzy. He missed the board. Natural 20. What's a computer? <laughs> Natural 20. You get down, you get to the, the core of the system, and you find a couple, um, a couple more videos from the um, chief scientist for the expedition, and he references uh, finding an a piece of a, a power source that he doesn't recognize or understand or it's unfamiliar technology they're using it to power the experiments they're not comfortable with it but it's providing them a great deal more um power something just brushed across my leg in my house and it's scary that's <laughs> baby kitty <laughs> um that's baby i'm sorry but it, 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 it sounds like um based on the energy pattern he's showing the uh, another piece of the stellar degenerator power core all right, well, let's go get this thing so we can. And then they, they used it on the feral fluid ooze to see what would happen, and that's where the problems began. I have a bad feeling about this. Someone has yeah. been here recently, and this piece of the power has been here twenty years ago. I am worried that it is not here anymore. What? No, no, your 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 detector says it's there. Oh, it does. Okay. Yes. Do yes. we um? Do we know where where do do they, do they put where they were doing those experiments with the ooze stuff? Lab two. Lab two and the power core. Uh, so I'm gonna guess the power core two. Uh, Trigger is there a map of the facility and the files that you have found? Uh, the GM is gonna tell us if we found them. Uh, there is no uh, map. Uh, 
But there is one more file to read. But hold on, Ghost. Ghost, I, I found one, 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 one more file. Oh, okay. To be continued. Oh! Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Is that a cliffhanger for you guys? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. That's not bad. It's a message that says, please delete my browsing history. For God's sake, <laughs> if I die, please delete my browsing history. Next time you go on the internet, use incognito mode. <laughs> the only thing that's going to suck is when we start back up next time, it'll be light out. <laughs> but it's quarter 11. I don't want to get too much further into this. No, it makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. How oh, cool. Nobody died. How Oh, how does the dynamic lighting work for you guys on the, on the map? Is it it's fantastic? Oh, it's, it's actually very cool. Yeah. yeah. I think it's really cool. I think it's well worth five Now that I've kind of hacked into the computer, do I need to like re find another? Or do, do I assume I know like the protocol to get in? Or how does that work going from? I'm just, I'm actually just curious. Oh, um, it depends. Like if you, when, when, like, there are a couple of other labs in the building. Uh, if a scientist put his own, Security in. Okay. Throw on that, but for generic access, you'd be okay. Okay, that's cool. All right, um, guys. Cool. That was a, I, I, that, that was a good good session. I, I enjoyed it. I I'm happy to see your your like in this 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 spooky part. Hopefully, we can keep that up next, next time. Sounds good. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, good night, guys. Right, folks, have a good night. night. Sleep well. Have Josh, great day. job. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. Be safe. Good be night, healthy. Folks. Yep. Thank you. Catch everybody later. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>